Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Dan here, guys. I want to welcome you all back to Star Wars Nice Hill Republic and my 10 year anniversary for the original Let's Play I did for the channel. Today, we're going to be jumping into Tatooine. Uh, I don't mind Tatooine. I mean, it's not my favorite planet to visit in this game, but uh, there's some exciting things we do. We're going to get some more swoop racing involved. There's going to be the, the crate dragon, the sand people, all sorts of things we're going to be dealing with today. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really enjoying this series. I hope you guys are as well. Obviously, if you are, make sure you leave a like on the stream. Make sure you say what's up in chat as well so I know that you're with us today. We will be jumping in shortly. Um... But yeah, I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll. Let's just go ahead and quickly say hello to those who are here at the moment. And we will get started right away. All right, let's see. What's up, Adam? James? Uh, what's up, Logan? What's up, David? How's it going? Uh, what's up, Noah? Hey, Eileen? What's up, Kimmy? Oh, yeah, it's awesome. You know, I'm doing great with that. I'm just going to load my game really quick, actually, while we're waiting here. Hold on. Get this thing started up before we go any further. What up, Kyler? How you guys doing? Good to see you. What's up, Ruben? Michael H, Michael L, back to back. Good God, you guys. Making it difficult on me. <laughs> but uh, when we left off as well, I did catch up with um, speaking with everybody I needed to. Um, I don't think yes, they'll have anything to add. No, besides that. And then Basil, I'm sure we caught up with. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, something spawned in. I'll have to talk to her before hitting up Tatooine. It's important because... We needed to talk to Vassal about her mother because her mother, like her side mission involving her family, takes place on Tatooine, which is where we need to go. We haven't actually flown there yet, so it's important that we did this. So, yeah. Uh, what's up, Oasis? Hey, Ryan. Man, yeah, this is my most played. I have the most series of this game on the channel for sure. I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've Charles, made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. I think we both know the real reason you were watching me. You never give up, do you? No, I don't. I admit, I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. You have a great gift. You have an awesome command. Apparently saying all that stuff actually helps down the line. I think of how if you, you want to go that route. It. Hey, Siraj, what's up? I won't make you tremble. Do I get <laughs> I get all tingly as I do? What? I... No, of course not. Not like that anyway. In many ways, you are you are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy, or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. What's up, Judd? Hey, Francisco. What's up, Zach? The dark side is not simply me? giving in to anger, a temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. Uh, well, it's understandable that you're getting that, Charles, because um, this is actually one of... This is also developed by Bioware, who made, you know, same guys who made Mass Effect. However, this came before, way before it, in 2003. You seem to know that temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not... But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? In what way, Jedi? Which, which Anakin are we talking about? Episode 1, where he's a really skilled pod racer and you're just dominating the swoop track? Or Episode 3, Anakin, where he took his talents to the Jedi Temple? Angrily. <laughs> I couldn't see myself ever doing such things. It's so ironic, hey? That is why the dark side is so insidious. If you are not careful, you do not even see each small step you take towards it until it's too late. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. 
If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Is that unicorn? Do whatever is required, such as? I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come. We should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. How can I help? Okay. Then I I'm just going to double check with Candyman before we uh, actually fly on out to Tatooine. Because I think he's the only one who I can actually have a conversation with at this point. May, might even try, um... Oops. Yeah, what do you want? No, he doesn't have any more. I'll try, and I'll just try, um... Jesus. Why can't I think of her name right now? Get Juhani. Jesus. I'm nothing. Okay, so... Alright, we're caught up. Let's fly to Tatooine, guys. And we'll have to bring... I'm going to have to bring Mission... And Bastila with me when I leave. Uh, Tatooine. The reason I do it in this order, Tatooine, Kashyyyk, Manon, Korriban, is because when you're playing on console, it'll start you on Dantooine, right? And if you hit right, if you literally just right stick to the right, it'll jump to here and you hit right again. It'll go back, sorry, it'll go to Korriban. You do it again, it'll go up to Manon, and then you do it one more time. And it'll do, oh, sorry. I did that backwards. It'll go Tatooine. And you hit right, it'll go to Kashyyyk, and then it'll go Manon and Corbin. I don't know why they do that. It looks like they kind of... Honestly, it kind of looks like you should do Kashyyyk, Manon, Tatooine. That's kind of what it looks like if you go from left to right. And then, of course, you have the Yavin DLC. I'll eventually do that. We'll see how long this, this, this one takes me. Maybe I'll make a stop there at the end of today's stream. We'll see. Um, but for now, like I said, I always went Tatooine. Well, I didn't always. I actually would go Kashyyyk... Or, sorry, Tatooine, Kashyyyk, Corbin. And then Manon last. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. But either way, once we finish three planets, we got to remember as well, once we finish three planets, after the third planet, we're going to get absolutely yoinked out of the sky by the Leviathan. So we got to remember that as well. So I think it makes sense for us to do it this way. So let's get to Tatooine. What's up, Ahsoka? Hey, Tyler. It was good. How was yours? What up, James? Oh yeah, big, uh, kind of big news about, uh, KOTOR. Um, the remake, it got delayed indefinitely, unfortunately. So I think it was slated for a 23, late 23, kind of 24 release, maybe, a, maybe, most likely 24. It might not happen until 25 or 26, unfortunately. It would have been perfect if it released next year, because that would be the 10-year anniversary, sorry, the 20-year anniversary. Of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you should always do Kashyyyk before you do Manon, in my opinion. Just for that reason alone. The sun Sundry? I love that mission, too. The Sundry trial? That was Lord cool. Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. This sack of shit, you just can't kill him. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me. There is something else. 
May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Carath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malik. Because, yeah, Kahlo understands. Right? Kahlo knows. Doubtful. That's true. The random clipping, audio, dra audio issues, frame drops. Yeah, there'd be screen tearing, audio bugs, and, uh, yeah, the, like, and what else, sorry. Random frame drops as well, yeah, of course. I mean, to be fair, it was weird. On the original Xbox, you'd, you'd run perfectly, but if you played on 360, it would run like absolute ass. Apparently, though, you can play KOTOR 1 and 2, your, three, or your original Xbox games, on the Series X, and apparently it runs a lot smoother. There's something about the emulation on the 360 that it just didn't run that well. Which is, I don't know, kind of interesting to me. They never made it work. Because, yeah, my original runs were all done on my Xbox copy. My original four runs, actually. So, KOTOR 1, Light Side, and Dark Side. KOTOR 2, Light Side, Dark Side. Were all done on my 360 copies of the game. And played on an Xbox 360. Or, sorry, my original Xbox copy. You know what I'm saying. The Force has given us a, a vision. Like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. Perfect place to hide it, though. Maybe Tatooine wasn't always a desert. Perhaps. Though that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now there's nothing but the howling emptiness of the Dune Sea. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Let's see if I can talk to her again. How can I help? Why did the council send with you send me with you on this mission? Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus prove that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? If the Force wants us together, why do they keep, why do you keep resisting my undeniable charge? <laughs> I said we were brought together for our mission to stop Malak. I, I hardly it. think the Force would be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. I disagree. Please try to stay focused. <laughs> I doubt the Council would approve if they knew we were busy discussing our mutual attraction when we should be saving the galaxy from Malak. Mutual attraction? I knew it. <laughs> I love that. Mutual attraction? I never said... It's just an expression. No, it ain't. Whatever our feelings... I mean, whatever your feelings, you have to try to ignore them. Don't let this complicate things. I love Finding it. Finding the missing pieces of the star maps is our only hope of locating the star forge and defeating Malak. The council explained all this quite clearly. It's funny, like, in order to get the romance with her, you do have to, like... You really do have to, um, like, tease her. I find teasing her like this helps because then it, like, shows that you're interested and she's more willing to, like, you know, turn from... the you know what I'm talking about. I won't, you know, just in case I won't say anything, but I don't know why this, the Verpeen headband is clipping through my nose. I didn't do any mods for my character. Like my, like the, these guys, there, there is a mod, there's a skin mod, but it's only for one particular character. Like you have to pick a certain face because that person only modded the one face, which is, I understand because it would take a while to mod every single face, but I don't know. Take it upon yourself to mod every single face in the game, you know? Anyway, um, just seems odd they would send me off without a master to guide me. I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the council to test my own abilities. I get the feel I get the feeling there's more going on than I know. I wondered if the council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the council explained, Sending a master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. I guess that makes sense. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the Council. 
Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. You know what I mean? You're the one who thought this was her big addition for Masterhood. Alright, I suppose we should get back to the mission now. Come on, come. Let's move on. There's much to be done. I'll see if there's anything else to talk to her about. How can I help? No. Then How about Karth? Yes, what's... Tatooine's just a desert planet. I hear the mining isn't going so well. I bet the colony gets abandoned before long. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. You got... Alright, I just like to, whenever you move planets, usually that, um, gives you another option to, to, for speech, to chat with people. Jafiel. Let me, oh, the missing supplies. Let's check our supplies in the cargo. Something's not right. Not right? What do you mean? Someone's been in an emergency stash food mission, and I asked everyone, but no one knows anything about it. You might want to check the food stores next time you're in the cargo hold. Okay, I'll do that. That'll be after I'm done everything here. I will do that that mission. How may I be of assistance to you? What is it you want to speak to me about? What is it you would... Nothing. I don't think the candy man has anything to tell me either. I'm gonna go around the long way. Mucha shaka paga. Yeah, what are you... Do you know anything about Tatooine this? Tatooine is one big desert with rocks sticking out. I heard that some of my people came here after the war, but I don't know what happened to them. The world of my clan, Ordo, was much like this. Dust basins and rock crags. But my world at least has some green around the equator. This place is just sand all over. There are some vicious people on this world, but the desert is the real enemy. Trips out in the desert, especially the deep desert, should be taken very carefully. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Um... Hey, don't... There all right, we'll just bounce then. Like I said, we'll come back when we want to do that mission. So I need to bring Mission and Bastila for my time here. Mission's kind of... Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. What do I get for my 100 credits? The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expenses. Is there any way you could reconsider the fee? I assure you that the fee is non-negotiable. We have a very thin margin of profit on this world. The money I save, I'll spend in your store. Sometimes that works. This probably won't work. No, no, no. I'm sorry, but we... That does make sense. <laughs> I, I just do it a couple I times. could let it go this time. We need the business. This will cover it's any true, future I will be spending money as well. Stores. It's like a registration so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Give me some background. There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. Tell me about the uh, operations. I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. Come now, friend. Let me in on the details. Uh, it's common knowledge, so there's no harm in telling you. It's a tale of bad business. You see, Zerka Corporation staked their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect, and possibly even a, an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. So Zerka set up shop on a barren planet? Not totally barren. There were a few good years of mining, and limited operations are still in place. But the ore is flawed. It has peculiar properties. They've had to look at other forms of business. 
What do you mean when you say the aura is peculiar? Zerka Corporation has really tried to hide this, but it just seems that Tatooine metal is unfit for effective manufacturing. I would imagine that this outpost will eventually be abandoned. Nobody is making any money here. Of course, this rock may have been settled a few times, so look for some other company to get stuck with it. What other forms of business are looking are, are being looked at here? Pursuits that uh, appeal to the casual traveler. There are some fearsome native species that provide exciting hunting. There are also lengthy barren wastes that serve as fine soup tracks. Attracting business has been slow, however. Um, was not the history. Very little. There are hints that it might once have been a lush world, but I can't picture it as anything but a desert. Native <laughs> sentient species have no records going back that far. That was hundreds of years ago, maybe thousands. Of course, the native species are not very willing to tell anyone anything. They're <laughs> barely more than animals. What species do you mean? Jawas? Sand people? The sand people. They're vicious, and attack Tuscan outsiders Raiders. on sight. More animal than anything, really. Maybe they know the history of Tatooine. Maybe they don't. Impossible to tell. They won't cooperate. Have they any trouble with sand people? Not personally, but they've given Zerka Corporation a rough time. <clears throat> it's hard enough mining this rock without suffering random attacks. I think the company has even put a bounty on them. But I'm sure not going to try for it. We're gonna get info on jobs like that. It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. You can make a lot of credits Talk here. Talk to honestly. the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. All right. I'm looking for very specific things. Who should I ask? That much information. Could you tell me more? I'm looking for older things, antiques, artifacts. You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. You could always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. So it depends do. on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration. All right, I already talked to him. Okay. All right, I need As to get going. you wish. If you need anything <laughs> else, I'll be here. That guy has a lot of intel. Yeah. What can I do? Anyway, mission yeah. hasn't leveled up in like an eternity she's only a level eight right now it's gonna recommend dexterity she's the problem is she's just she's weak right so you need to have a high reflex i might give her some strength just enough to get her a modifier of two maybe what's it recommend everything else she, so she's good to have around um i don't know i might give her critical straight let's see Improved sniper shot. That's that's where. See now it'll forever try to recommend that we give her improved sniper shot. I can understand why it'd be good, but why would they give her like a her own vibra blade if they didn't want you to use her, her for that? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna give her crit strike. Sneak attack. She's still going. Okay, that's all she gets. All right, let's take a look. The heavy combat suit. There's got to be something better. She can have my fiber armor. Honestly, looking at it, that's my old fiber armor. So that'll give her a defense boost. She's already got a massive um, dexterity, so that'll help. 
the long sword. Honestly, her Viber Blade is like modified. Yes, it's got physical damage, but it also has, well, it's got regular physical, but it's also gonna give you an extra physical damage plus energy damage as well, guaranteed extra each time. So it makes it's way makes way more sense. Don't be fooled by the little numbers. There's also the prototype Viber Blade, which I don't know what's considered to be better. <clears throat> Attack modifier of two. This actually might be a better call. This, while missions Viber Blade. Um, has a physical and energy, so that's just a total of basically 12, where this is basically a total of 14, and it, you also get an extra attack modifier, so I'll give her the prototype Viper Blade. Stabilizer gauntlets, that makes sense for her. Awareness demolitions, that makes sense for her as well. I might honestly sell Davik's visor, because no one's going to use improved power blast. There's just no need. I've never found that necessary. Yes? Yes? So, wait, what the? Can chop a chawi tea chop tweezers? It's been a long time. Are you Basil Helena's little girl? Yes, I can see in your eyes. Am I how you've grown? I'm Bastila. Yes, I take it that you know my mother. Bona na kachu. Yes, I worked for your father on an expedition years ago. You must show me all of you before Willie left. Was a pretty girl you were. Is there something I can do for you, Miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Don't be rude, Basila. Oh, I didn't mean to take up your time. I just wanted to ask if your mother's condition is improved since I saw her. My mother's condition. Oh, you you don't know? Oh dear, I just thought I assumed she had found you. When I talked to her last, she said she'd find you. I've not seen my mother since I joined the order. We'll run into it. Do you know what's happened? Did you did you say anything about my father? I'm sorry, dear, but your mother's very ill, so she told me she didn't say anything about your father. However, I didn't see him. I see. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? She are touching me in the air in the canteen. You really should go see her, considering her condition. I guess we should go see your mother, Basil. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she is really sick, well, we shall see. All right. Well, there you go. So I didn't think I would unlock that right off the snuff, but anyway. What's up, Jason? Hey, gaming. I don't. I never put a specific amount of time on my streams. It's just whenever what I plan on doing that day is finished. That's when we're kind of done. Like I'm taking on Tatooine today, so it's all. It's, I'm assuming it'll be roughly five. With that turn it, you got into faces. You got into Fusca. Customers are talking. That's better. Hello, customer. Bye from McTanis. Tune in just to save your credits. And don't be shy. Just ask me what you, what you want. If you can get a good look, we don't move the merchandise. Questions. I ask about you. Humble merchant. What do you want to know? Where do you come from? You can say we don't. The, you don't have the ears for it. Your voice yeah, we know this. Trade lanes leave us. Had to call us something. Sorges. Wait a minute. Didn't we talk to you already? So wasn't Sorges the same guy on Terrace? It's not important to stop. We admit we left for a time. Life of trade because we're strong. We talk. We've done well. Are you one creature or two? You are pardoned for asking because you only know one mind, or at least only one at a time. We are one now, we weren't always. We grow together, bonded from the age of choosing when we come whole. Not like you, you are half what you should be, like a brute like like squealer. Uh, not that we want to offend you, we don't want to lose any business. That is just our way as Bardwog. Your other half doesn't say much, just because you can't hear it doesn't mean it isn't there. You don't think about Tatooine. Not as much as we should. If we knew more, we would have better business. Travelers like us best. Settlers don't have much to trade. We don't travel far to on Tatooine itself, you see. The weather's not our home. Too, too dry, way too dry. So I'd ask to get more info. I'll trust the locals, even if they don't trust you. They're the ones who really know what's going on. That's true on any world. Let's go back to the questions. Are any off-world rumors? That's what everyone tells talks about. Terrace and the Sith are stirring up change. Could be good for business, could be bad. All we know is the wise people keep low and stay out of the way. Something to remind. Always remind your other half, or if you have one. Uh, show me what you have for sale. Oh, he's finally. Yeah! Anyway. Uh, yeah, Son, and I have, yeah. It got delayed indefinitely, which sucks. They, like, let go a few employees. The lead director, I believe, as well. Like, why? What did it, What did they do? All right, this thing, Usanis' brand, is really solid. I think it's also upgradable. It's got a 4 to 18, which is honestly better than a... Uh, but then a double-bladed lightsaber is 2 to 20 default. So a stock double-bladed is 2 to 20 damage. All right, and they, I think they, must, they realized their mistake in KOTOR 2 that that wasn't enough because... The fact that a single hilt lightsaber does less damage than some swords, it doesn't make sense. You know, so 
Anyways, there's no this guy is charging way too much for this. Like, and we need at least four grand if we want to buy HK, I believe, unless I can persuade her down. There's a dark side way of being like, you know, you better give it to me for free or something, and you ruin them or whatever. The Karakan Gauntlets. You will end up getting a lot of these later on. He's got some good stuff. Gizka Poison, Bantha Fodder. I'm going to buy the Bantha Fodder because we need it for a mission later. The Gizka Poison is kind of like a dark side way of dealing with the Gizka later on. But I'm not going to I don't mind having the Gizka around, so I'm just going to not do that. Hello there, Kat. Let's see. Oh, yes, here it is. It looks like a shipment is delivered to a ship is requested. What shipment? What are you talking about? It's talking about 32, isn't it? Yes, it is. And that's what I have here in the position for. Everything seems to be in order. The Gizka, your problem now. Excuse me, did you say Gizka? It says right here on the manifest that you ordered a crate of Gizka to be delivered to Doctor 32 That's right here. Now all I need is your thumbprint for- Wait a second, where did the data pack go? Huh, nothing I was ever organized around here. Anyway, the Gizka you were one of the loaders that the crate split over. You see, put it in your hole and some of them might have gotten loose. I don't know, I'm afraid. We don't accept liability and we certainly couldn't take your cargo back. Enjoy. What an asshole. I can't remember if there's anything in the back. I usually... Yeah, yeah, there's a footlocker. I knew it. Uh, there might be another one in the other corner. Oh, what's up, Box? Um, honestly, I'm not surprised the game got delayed, but I am a little... I'm wondering why, um, you know, the director and the other person, or whoever they were, they ended up getting fired. Like, I wonder what happened. When it says, it, when it's delayed indefinitely, that's never a good sign, because that means they need to hire a new, like, lead, I believe. Some ships I fix, some I scrap. Depends if the owner disappears in the dunes. But, yeah, I don't know. Oh, is that what it was? I must have missed that. Showed the demo and wasn't vibing. Honestly, like I say, I'm always okay when a game gets delayed. I know it's like, it's like if you really look forward to it, you're like, oh man, I was looking forward to it, I was so excited to play it, now I gotta wait even longer. Yes, but I always say, I'd rather wait, you know, and have to wait for it to, for a polished game than one that was rushed out or wasn't met to the design that people want, you know what I mean? That most people will like. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I don't know. Why is that doing that? Sorry, my stream is like, it keeps, like, YouTube, YouTube will randomly tell me, it's like, oh, you're, you're offline, and I'm not, it's just cheesing. Anywho. I'm gonna talk to her because she wants me to give her hunting Please. shit. Will you help me? I have nothing, nothing left. They don't always know, but what happened with Cyberpunk was they overpromised. They overpromised. That's the problem with that. We haven't seen basically anything with Kotor remake. Nothing. So they're not promising the world. Anyway, what do you need? I'm 10th anniversary. I'll help if I can. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. Um... What is the raid play? Where'd you get it? It's the bone plate from the head of the desert raid. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting. He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring in more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Let's talk about this. Will you buy it? Yeah, I'll buy it. You will? Oh, thank you so much. I'll make so the money much. back. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. I'm not going to give her an extra 200. That's, I'll pay that way. Oh, thank you. I hope it is enough. You've been a great You get good help. light side. I, I want to get the light side boost so I can too. use the force wow. more efficiently. Sometimes helping people feels pretty good, you know? Thank you for helping this woman. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. For whatever it means, may if, the force Kandris, be with you. If Candorus was with you us, he would have he been like, what the hell? <laughs> uh. That's okay. We'll have enough money. I want to get enough money to 
as long as I can buy HK. Like I said, you need maximum, I think, four grand. But I'll be doing the swoop races as well. So I can. T I might as well talk to Faza first to get the license, and then I'll talk to the hunters. A new face. Come to test your skill on the endless dunes of the of Tuxmean Puzzles Lodge. Just the place to arrange it. Um, what are you doing here? This is a hunting lodge. I purchased what the sportsmen bring in. It's not a bad little job. Got questions on hunting? You know, you'll want to know how to get it. Just return a credit for the license. No license on hunting. Why don't I need a license? License because no one gets out of the city without one. Circuit Corp uses it to keep track of people. They want people to know if they step out of the gates, they're on their own. It's just time to pay the fee. Once you have a license, I'll pay for whatever spoils of the hunt you bring back. Okay. You can, would you consider lowering the fee? Well, that's not for me now, is it? You'd have to talk to Zerka. All right, what's there to hunt? Most of our boys can find themselves to hunting raid. Large fleshy beasts, it's always a man. A tall man, too. Desert said, Desert Rain have a large bone plate on their head and that I pay well for, but that's not where the real glory of the hunt is. You've probably heard of the big price of great dragon, the most fierce predator in the system they are. If you can find one, and I doubt you will, I'll buy the stones polished in their gizzard, the dragon pearls. The thing is, the pearls are good. The pearls are worth credits, but... Um, they're better to put in your lightsaber. Dragons are rare, then. You'd think, you'd think it'd be easier to find such a gigantic creature. Comad's father took one down, but that was years ago. He's been a hunter for years. He's a strict traditional message. Comad's just like him. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two out of dunes. Where can I find him? He's now standing right over there. What's special about his father? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Uh, let's go back to my questions. I want to ask about Tatooine. Not much to tell Baron Place can't support much, but I've managed to get some off world hunters to show up. I suppose there's trouble here like anywhere else, but you'll have to ask someone about that. I keep to myself. Anything out of the ordinary happening? You mean here on Tatooine or just in general? I heard about the destruction of terrorists. Don't know anything specific. I'm not surprised if something like that happened. I remember the XR Good War. And now Sith and Jedi fought across the worlds. Don't have much interest in either group. Well, that's like they're above my concerns. I guess they are. No, about something more local. Uh, Zerker Corp is always complaining about sand people. I stay out of it. We hunt animals, not people. And I guess the Jawas are being pushed around again. At least that's what I think they said. Tough to tell sometimes. I'll have to talk to these groups yourself more. I keep to myself. Alright. Thanks, buddy. What up, Lynch? What's up, Rogue? Yeah, 2,500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. You really... But it, you you get some dark side. So, I'm not really about that. There's Comad. Don't we work with Comad taking down the Great Dragon? Something with human. Info. If I could trouble such a worthy hunter. Spare me the flattery. Talk to... Such talk is really sincere. Where are you? What do you do? Comad Fortuna? I don't remember this lodge. It's not the life for everyone, but I'm content. Where's the best hunter? I think it's wherever the best hunter is. He, it's a trite answer, you know, but the only one I can give. He doesn't want to give him secrets anyway. Depends on what you see. Greater, plentiful, and it's spoils a good sport hunter. Well, the sport hunter. Spoils of the sport hunter. Dragons only appear to a true hunter. Patience is key. Cray dragons hunt alone, and their prey is whatever can catch their attention. Dragons are rare, they're dangerous. Both rare and dangerous, and an honor to hunt. If you survive, you are blessed and favored. Respect them. Since I'm trying to lessen the risk by mass hunting with battle droids, I would rather hunt solo taking the risk as my own. Who uses droids? Let's speak of it while they live. It's a shame to admit or hide. They know the, the effect it has. Perhaps they will kill so many raids that they also kill the hunt. After that, perhaps a solo hunter will prosper. How long have you been at this? Decade two. I don't slave myself to time even. This day is there is a night. Wait, what? There's day and there's night. Really don't know anymore? Tatooine will not change in my lifetime. Why bother trying to keep up with the rolling of the years? Tell me the other hunters. Probably not as much as you would learn to speak for yourself. Most obviously the Gmorians, however, Gurk and his crew are not the best company. They hunt, they often come back with salvage instead of hides or pearls, and they their prey walks upright. <laughs> yeah. Don't the guards have something to say about that? Things are far from the reach of their blasters, besides Gurk's spent money in company stores. What about the hunters beside the Gmorians? Put simply, Dork Quinn is honorable, and his men is not so much, but I have no real quarrel with him. Us Quins are very honorable, it's true. <laughs> How long have you been at this? Oh, I already asked them that. Uh, let's go back. Looking for someone who knows this planet best. No one that will return your questions. No, they truly know the dunes yet to live there. As the do. Only they truly explore the land and they attack without debate. You can see them at all. Have you seen the sand people with anything odd? 
Sam, you can carry nothing but weapons and blood. Lost to them, outsiders and invaders of your power. Once or twice, however, I've seen them emerge from older ruins with sacks and other containers. I've always been driven off, and I, if I examine the site later, there's nothing left. What kinds of ruins are these? Where were they? They're old storehouses of some kind. But you couldn't find them now, you would have said that was all. The only ones who would know what was there were the sand people, and you could, would have to take my force. No, I don't. Finding their cabin is easy now, but walks out until you're attacked. How about the Jawas? They know the land well, but they are more interested in trading than talking. They scavenge to escape jobs akin to slavery. Language is difficult if you can get anything more than the price of a droid out of them. I'll be impressed. Goodbye. Thanks for the info, Comad. We'll see you later. Dork, my man, my brother. Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt desert raid. I don't babysit. Come now. I just want to benefit from your experience. Well, you sure know how to get on my good side. You're just trotting out bantha pats, but thanks all the same. Who are you? What is it you do? My name is Doric Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. Is that enough, or should I start listing my family birthdays? Wait, do you know my birthday then? I mean, I must be your family, right? What's the best hunting? If I knew the best place, why would I tell it? Exactly. Yeah, it that's what I would be worth saying. too much to me to let it get out. It doesn't matter anyway. This season has been dry for me, as it has for almost everyone. Perhaps <sighs> someone else is holding out, but there's simply fewer raid out there. No, that's not this guy. That's the guy in the back. He's got the same character model, but the guy with like the the black vest and the red the red shirt or whatever. He's in the back corner. But he doesn't necessarily die, right? You could save him. Why are there fewer raids? It used to be a one-on-one -on -one test, hunter against hunted. Now people just want the credits. I could stomach maybe a pair or a team of hunters, but some now use battle droids. Where's the sport in that? Who uses droids? That's not for me to say. I won't be a troublemaker in so small a community. You'll see. Hunt, and you will see. How long have you been at this? I've tracked wild beasts my whole life, but I've only been hunting here for five years. I have much to learn yet. That's true. I don't know how many... <laughs> People often ask me what kind of build I'm going for every stream. <laughs> what kind of set alignment, what's build? What do you want to learn? Wait. There are hunters that go after the big kills. The Sub great dragons. I don't know how they do it. I never even see the things. Comad is the one I respect. But I also trust that the only difference between us is experience. I will learn. I don't go to... Uh, one word, though. Oh, my bad. Watch yourself I around the Morians. Gurk and his buddies aren't to be trusted. They won't even entertain Everyone else I respect you. because they have skill. Those guys, they go for easier prey. There'll be trouble later. Makes you say that. Just watch your back when you hunt. The dragons aren't the only dangers out there. Thank you, bro. Uh, if that's what... Looking for something. You'll have to ask around. Comad Fortuna is a much more experienced hunter than I am. He hunts far from Anchorhead. The local Jawas are a good source of information, even if it is hard to understand them. It may cost you, though. All right. Good hunting. Thanks, dork. Yeah, these guys, they won't even speak to you. Ha, <laughs> ah, Boise, talk to me. What do you want, you, me? Gurk has no time for you. Can you tell him, Gurk? What if I want advice? I'm sure you're very smart. What? Are you trying to get my secrets? I bet. Trying to find where I hunt? Huh? I'll tell you something. Are you getting nothing? So can I ask what you do? Dirk and his boys hunt. That's what we do and who we are. We don't train babies like you. Yeah, we hunt the raid best out of everybody. We don't have time to train you or anyone. Some of the other hunters say you don't know how to hunt. It's just, just abs snitches get snitches out here. Uh, they know we're just as good as them, that's for sure. Now we prove because some of them don't come back, but we always do. Shut up, stupid. Why don't you let him speak? What, you deaf? Because he's stupid, he talks too much. You leave us alone now. I'm not stupid, you're stupid. Ah, oh, jeez. I hope this doesn't take too long. Gamorreans like to throw insults around, but they just don't have the smarts for it. You are a stupid one, not me. It's just you don't even know you're stupid. No, you're a stupid one, stupid. You're so stupid to see you and, and say looking stupid. Shut up, stupid. 
Uh, go read a book about it or get a yappy joy. Gherkin boys don't drink. No, for God's sake. We already asked that. Um, are you good scouts? I'm the best among everybody, but not for you. We hunters know more than anybody. Go learn the dunes yourself. Maybe you tough enough to talk to us. Probably not, though. Yeah, probably not. I bet you don't come back. Shut up! Again, same thing. Fine, I'll just leave. Maybe we'll see you in the dunes. He keeps, he just keeps letting them know. Oh, this is our boy, Tannis Venn. What can I do for you? Hmm. Did my wife send you? This ain't about credits, is it? Actually, yes it is. I'm looking for experts. You seem knowledgeable. Oh, of course. Who put you up to this? My wife? I meant what I said about having no credits. Uh, I want to ask you about hunting. Hunting is a dirty and tough business. What can old Tannis tell you about it? Where's the best hunting? There isn't any. Too many hunters, not enough prey. I can barely keep expenses covered. Maintenance on battle droids is expensive. Of course, it's better than going alone. What if I stumbled on a bunch of sand people? These solo hunters are crazy. You hunt with battle droids, is that sporting? What do I care? I need to eat. I also need to pay for parts so the wife can keep the droids running. It's all about the credits. Some guys will talk about honor and stuff, but they still sell their plates to Faza. I guess honor needs creds too. Don't you need to take more kills to keep your droids running? I suppose, but so what? When that resource goes belly up, I'll just move on. I'm just a wandering spirit, I guess. I'm not real popular with the others, but they just fool themselves. They're in it for the credits too. How long have you been at this? Too long, but it beats smuggling. You ever run into a Sith Dreadnought in the desert? No, you haven't. You cross paths with a Sith Dreadnought? Hell, I married her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously now. I had this friend that crossed Sith space and got stripped of everything. It's not like I have much now, I guess. But I still prefer sand people to getting ambushed on unproven trade routes. You got about your wife a lot. What's the deal? Ah, she doesn't understand me. You know the drill. It's not my fault. She knew who I was when she married me. Tell me about the other hunters. Uptight and cold, like my wife. They don't like me streamlining the hunt with droids. I don't fit in, but I don't let it bug me. The Gamorians are different. Good rowdy drinking buddies. Girk and his boys. Up, they understand that hunting is hey, a Lala. business. Of course they hunt other things than raid, too. Just don't turn your back on them. Ever. What are you suggesting? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just keep your eyes on them, that's all. They all know. What about the hunters besides the Morians? Dorak is reasonable. Comad is a pain, but he keeps his distance. I can tell he doesn't like me much. Ask around the lodge if you want information about the other guys. I don't really talk to him much. Alright. Bye. Who knows the planet best? Who knows the planet? I don't know. I guess the same people. I'm usually running when I see him, though. Have you seen them with anything uh, odd? Sure. My blood. They almost got me last year. Tore up two of my battle droids. Wife was mad about that. <laughs> Took her weeks to fix. Where they got weapons to cut battle armor, I don't know. They act like animals, but they can surprise you. Where did this happen? I don't know. Pick a dune and walk. They'll get you soon enough. This is true. What about Java? Smart traders. They've salvaged and sold me my own damaged droids once or twice. They don't see much I can understand. I think they're a little slow, but who am I to judge, huh? <laughs> Says the guy who bought his own battle or his own droids from them. <laughs> Again? Alright. Good hunt. Later, buddy. He wasn't that bad. He's the kind of guy, like, based on what people are saying about him, that he's gonna be some ass. And then he just got this poor guy. He's just chilling on his own. One is the lonely snow that you love to Two can be as bad as one. The lonely is is the number one. What is the loneliest? Oh, I forgot about kudos. Kudos to you, big guy. Only a hunter like the others here. Not the life for me, but I admire you for it. What do you, oh yeah, he's Pizak, right? What do you do? Yeah, I feel the days of games Pizak, but not. But not there's many people to play with, but a person should keep busy somehow. I play with that fellow in the cantina, but I, I find him distasteful. He does not play for the same reason I do. Why do you play? It's part of it. Even if I lose, there's a reward in having played to the best of my ability. I don't dwell on the credits taken. Most people in the game are simply gambling, but I choose to get more out of it. Than that. Not many players see it in my way. 
Let's go back to my questions. Can I ask about Tatooine? I can tell you more than the rest of these fellows. I haven't said put outside anchor heads. I don't even want to. Tatooine is a very hospitable place. It'll be going as soon as parts of my ship arrive. As soon as parts of my ship arrive, I'll be going. It may take some time, though. Pretty rumors off planet. I think since the unfortunate business on Terra, the Republic is reeling from that, as are we all. It's very troubling. But you can't let that call us stop here today. We survived worse, and we will again. This is the way things are. Bye. Yeah, Gamey, I, I heard about that. If they've indefinitely delayed it, I guess they could be going in a completely new direction. It'll take that much time. If it took them that long and they're starting from scratch, man, it could be a long... I guess it depends, really, eh? This guy has something to say, doesn't he? Have you seen a woman that may resemble me somewhat? She's my mother. A human woman. I am outraged at her arrogance. You, do all your species play yourselves on such annoying pedestals? <clears throat> I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Just be sorry for sharing a species with that, that creature, I swear. Elena must be the word for pin rank, or... Is that your mother's name? Mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. Seen her, human. You couldn't miss her if you tried. She stole her to the canteen like she owned the place. Is she still there? Probably. I don't think anybody else could drop her top right, so she won't be leaving. I won't be going back while she's there, though. We should try to find her. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. You're actually looking for her? You you're all out of your I, I want to find out what my mother wanted. We need to find her. We'll find her in a minute. That Duros was not having her attitude, though, so shout out to him. Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please, make it quick. Ask some questions. Yeah, all right, but I'm not sure what I could say to interest you. I just work on the crawlers. Describe your job and who you work for. I repair the sand crawlers when they return from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. What attacks? The sand people attack them pretty regularly. Zerka Corporation is getting pretty sick of it, I hear. They've offered bounties on sand people for a while now. But few hunters take them up on it. Too dangerous. <laughs> Where can I learn about these bounties? Try at the Zerka offices, right here. They'd know. When does sand crawlers head out? Oh, the big crawlers head out at dawn. That's so they avoid the bigger predators. The raid, I mean. Doesn't help avoid the sand people, though. They attack pretty regular, no matter what Zerka Corporation tries. Um, tell me about Tatooine Anchor. Well, it's a hole in the galaxy as far as I'm concerned. I doubt this outpost will last much longer. But that's happened before and will happen again. Anchorhead has been resettled a few times now. Why have previous settlements failed? Well, Tatooine fools people. It looks like it might have a good supply of resources, but it doesn't. Before a company learns this, they've already set up communities to support operations they now can't afford. The company pulls out, cities dry up, and after a few years, someone that doesn't know why it failed tries again. No one is. I guess it looked like a promising mining planet, but the metal, I tell you, it just isn't right. I've been a mechanic my whole life, and I've never seen anything corrode as fast as Tatooine metal. It's why whoever was here before left, and why Zerka will leave, and why whoever comes next will leave. All right. All right, then. Later. I don't know why there's just random footlockers in the city that people can just help themselves to. I don't think I've saved yet today. He was trapped there for a minute. You'll be hearing about this usurka puppet. I'm not going to let this drop. You can't just murder your whole village, bitch. And don't tell me to take that seriously, you crooked kiosk. I know what I'm not worth, you dumbass bitch. <laughs> What's going on here? Who are you? I'm done talking in this office, bitch. They just didn't listen to me. I doubt they'll ever acknowledge I was here, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Typical corporate evasion. That's what happens when they own everything. No accountability. Don't even bother bringing it up, bunch of bitches. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the guy who's not from around there learns a swear word. <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, well, I know that... She has all the information. He uh, just sells you sh sells you stuff. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, Gareth? I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. No! 
Uh, this game came out in 03. Minor name Griff. 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 Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. I'd leave sooner if I knew. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek. Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. That sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the Sand People wouldn't have gotten him. Sand People? He was lost in a Sand People raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost-effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. So your workers are expendable. Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. That's why we've started right, a bounty Cyrus. program to thin the Sand People numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Some type of reward for saving him? As I said, all employees have signed waivers so no, their absolving hands are clean Corporation their eyes. of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Well, that's something Very else. well. Though I do have... Uh, honey licenses. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Why do I... Why would I need one anyway? We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. There's no way to get one. Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. I'll agree to do this for you. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Very well. Um, when I spoke Zerka. Of course. Zerka Corporation records are available. For your needs here, we maintain a fully stocked storehouse. Speak with Greta Holda about any purchases. May I ask how operations are doing? Certainly. Please pose your questions to the representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. Why the secrets? The company stuck you here. Tell me. I'm sorry, but I can't help. Very. Up for your. I'm sorry. I'll get her. Up for your. I'm sorry. I'll get her. Up for your. I suppose you're right. It's not like you can't tell <laughs> I told the state you get her. just by looking around. Mining operations here have not been a success. The ore is substandard, and there's less of it than surveys indicated. With the Sand People raids on top of it all, it's no wonder this planet has been abandoned before. What makes the ore substandard? No one knows. There are odd energy fluctuations on this planet, but they defy analysis or explanation. Well, we know but exactly what's obvious. doing that. Ore taken from Tatooine is useless for construction. It degrades incredibly fast. Word is getting out about it, too. Excuse We're me. running out of buyers. Zerka Corporation is not doing well here. <laughs> she I never noticed that. She does look very sad in the background. Holy shit. That's like... Mm, I want a license. <laughs> Does that mean you have plans to pull out? The company would be foolish pull out to stay. Game strong. It will be costly, but <laughs> in the end, leaving will be cheaper than staying. I imagine all the heavy equipment will be abandoned. It's not worth shipping out things like sand crawlers. Maybe the Jawas will find a use for them when we're gone. <laughs> That's a laugh. The Koto remake didn't get cancelled though, Kieran. It's been delayed indefinitely. And I think it's fine to re re I honestly a remaster would be nice too, but I think a remake is good. Because, let's be honest, the combat style of this game is so outdated. I think you could really bring a, a lot more people to the world that is KOTOR. 
if you you don't have to completely redesign it but you can like I think the story should remain similar if not the same but the gameplay should be modernized I think I would be all for that so you can still the thing is the game still exists in its original way you know what I mean remaking the game is not gonna erase erase the you know the original I just think it needs to be modernized you don't have to change anything else really but yeah, like a lot of it should be into I just need to be modernized. Anyway, uh, planet was abandoned before. We can't ignore evidence that Anchorhead was settled more than once before and abandoned each time. There's probably a century between each attempt, just long enough for records about why it failed to disappear. The Jawas scavenge ancient tech all the time. It's a remote world. Who knows what's here? Uh, Very well. hold on. I think we're done. Anything out of the ordinary? I assume that by out of the ordinary, you're referring to the destruction of Terrace? That is all anyone is talking about. I'm afraid Zerka Corporation is not offering any comment on those events. We wouldn't wish to anger the participants. No, anything more local? If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track, one of the few leisure industries on Tatooine. Hmm. There was also a Jawa here earlier, saying something about needing help. I think he's out by the city gates. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Our droid translators had difficulty with the message. What? Very. I, I'm a. No desire to mistakenly associate with the losing side, huh? Zerka Corporation policy is not subject to your approval. <laughs> it is a sound business model. Save us your commentary. Uh, that was a very professional very way well. of saying go fuck yourself. Farewell. All right, we're done here. We got some items. We got some things we need. Let's go see what Greta has to say. You and Finding or sand people, you go to Zerk office and just manage the storehouse. What do you have available for purchase? Mostly just standard Zerk provision supplies, not people to have a look. Here's the thing too though, you can actually sell him everything. So like I remember uh, over on, uh, if you do swoop races, they don't actually give you credits. They give you like, I can't remember what they call them. They're like tokens and you have to sell the tokens. I would usually sell them to him. Mesh underlay. It's a shame they didn't. I, I like that they added underlays to Jedi robes. Let's go bounties. Not my fair. Third corporation. What do you think you're doing? Doesn't matter. Maybe they pull up. Maybe they won't. All right, bye. Whatever. He has nothing else to say. I can agree with that, Kieran. I was actually just gonna say that myself. I think they should leave the story. Leave the original planets, just remodel them, maybe make them a tad Double bigger with a few more side missions. And then Hope just, uh, hold on. Don't you believe a word what Zerka said? There are always peaceful West. solutions to conflict. They're just lazy. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, just make them maybe each location a tad bigger with more side missions. But ultimately, the end goal is still relatively the same. Star maps, um, all the characters are still in it. You know, you can keep the original awesome missions. Just add more and make it bigger, make it look prettier make the gameplay a little bit more modern. I think that's exactly what the remake needs. Basically, do it like they did it with Resident Evil remakes, you know, two, three, do it like that. They did it exceptionally well, but they didn't change the game really at all. They just changed the camera, made it look prettier, you know, added a few modern touches. That's what they need to do. Anyway, what do you mean? What are you talking about? See you, Jason. Zerka Miners have been attacked by some. Uh, sorry, I missed it. Some people are animals. I've watched them and they are intelligent. They are a way to peacefully stop the attacks. I know you're right, there is. But no one will try, of course. You can't even leave the city without Zerka approval. They, they want Sam from dead. There's Zerka said the Sam people attacked first. Well, yes, they did. They attacked the Zerka who destroyed numerous giant slime crawlers and started tearing up the desert with iron shovels and whatever else. What would you have done to the Sam people? Must seem like an invasion. There were, no, there were no negotiations for territory resources. I don't think the killing has been justified, but as a convention, conservationist, I'm hoping someone would at least try to talk this out. What would you suggest? Communication. We can just speak to them. They won't talk, but at least not in any language an average translator can understand. There was even a Jedi here a few years ago that couldn't seem to get through them. I like that ended in blood, too. I'm not saying it'd be easy, but someone has to try maybe with a real translation. Nothing's so protocol scrappy walking around. 
Who would have a capable droid? They're pretty rare, on, even on well stocked worlds, but I'm pretty sure I heard something about an unusual droid to shock in between. I'm sure I heard Yukalaka say that he can speak a semi dialect, although he say quest his goal to make a sale. With that droid, maybe you can talk to them. I wouldn't survive. Maybe with desert robes in disguise, someone can get in their enclave. Where would the Enclave you mentioned be? What is so secret where they are? The attacks get worse the further southwest than the dudes to use. Oh, the people die on both sides. Where would you get ropes to match theirs? I suppose you could take them off the warrior raiders and save the there's no way to survive anything like that. Plus, you'd have, you would have to explain why you killed their warriors if you were trying to make peace, but I suppose there's no other way. I'll look into it. Sure, that's what Zerka keeps saying, and then they start shooting again. The party won't stop till they are all dead. Or until Zerka leave. The only one, the one is as likely as the other one, the way things are going good. Bye, what do I know? Oh yeah, I'll be playing Res 4 for sure, the remake. I haven't played that game since, like, GameCube days. That was the last time I played Res 4. I barely even remember Res 4, honestly. Like, I remember it, but I barely remember the story. Like, barely. It's just like bits and pieces. Because when that came out, I think it was 2004, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. 2004? Originally, or was it 2004 in Japan and then 2005 in, in uh, North America? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I tried to get work in the mines, but Zerka Corporation is scaling back. Oh, we have a Lord Manic with most of his We must learn, learn to escape there alive. We have one of those guys. Corporation is board. scaling back. Hello, I am Lord Manic as most displeased. This is my colleague when you escape Terrace alive. And I can't permit my homie in the back. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Well, this is the. <laughs> Lord Malik will have to wait because I'm going swoop racing. <laughs> They'll have to wait. I'm going swoop racing. Oh, can you imagine? It's just like <laughs> you start walking by them and they're like, Lord Malik, but you keep walking by. Lord Malik was most displeased when he was Lord, you'd escape to <laughs> As you get further away, it's like a car drive by. Lord Malik is most displeased. <laughs> You just don't care. You just give them no pay, no no attention whatsoever. You start running by them, you know, in the traditional KOTOR way. You know what I'm talking about? Like this. Lord Malak was must. Okay, we'll wait. <laughs> He'll be back soon, boys. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, Yuka Rill is a racer. Garm, I think, is a racer. Nico is definitely a racer. He's actually getting screwed by his agent. I don't know, should I talk to I'll talk to all the people first before we do anything. Alright, what do you want? You here for money? I'll pay the hut what I owe as soon as the circuit is back on his feet. Oh wait, you don't look like a collector, you're just some kid going on time for you. Uh just got a few things we want to spare moment. If I say that you'll probably help me to death. What do, what do you want? I wanna know about you and racing. It's not much useful you'll get of, it's not much useful you'll get out of me. What does that mean? You real is on his way down. I can't match the young riders. Is this the best place for racing? I'd better hope so. It's the last stop for me. If I can't get some decent things times going, I might as well not leave. I wish I could use the destruction of Terrace and excuse, but I doubt I would have made it back there. Why have racers come here? Old guys like me can't make it on good tracks, and the new racers come here to try and knock us down even further. I'm still trying to have one good last round, but it isn't happening. How long have you been at this? 20 years. I've raced on almost every track, and Logan's surfboard is an aging bike. No good memories? That seems waste. I've got a few trophies stashed, but they don't pay the bills. Yep. I should have quit after the course, not bad. Classic. Uh, what can you tell me about the other racers? A bunch of babies, all of them, well, except for Zorlis. She's got the goods like I never had. Good for her, I guess. But if I have something, if I have to say something good about the other the new racers, it would be that Nico kid. He's got a future. What makes you say that? He doesn't get the track. You get old, you start to worry about failing. He just lets it all come to him. What do you think about that? Some promoter will use, will use him up, and you'll end up in the debt like me. It's already happening, I bet. Uh, even have this. Too many. Oh, I've already said that. First questions. Looking for something who knows the planet best. I don't know. Go ask the locals. Alright, bye. Good riddance. He's just an old man. He's salty. Uh, I'm probably the wrong person to ask Titan because when it came to my senior year, I, I cared so little about high school at that point. I put in the most basic amount of effort and that was what it is. So there's no... Yeah, you don't, you don't want to ask me that. <laughs> Hi there, are you waiting for a slot on the track? Me too, there's a lot of racers coming through here now. Just some chalks like me don't get much respect, just take practice, I guess. 
I got a few things I want to ask for. Sure, but I don't sunshine. know much besides the track. You, know, can, you ever even, even interested in some track? I want to ask you about racing. Heck, nobody ever interested in me. I'm the new guy. I'm from Totro. Pleased to meet you. This is the best place for racing? You're kidding, right? Every racer here would rather be someplace else, but this is it for most of us. Darius blowing up his messed up swoop, sir. swoop circuit. People are just looking for somewhere to keep their skills sharp. It sounds weird, doesn't it? Worrying about racing when all those people die, nothing we can do. Why have racers come here? Lots of pays for timekeeping and official records, but you can race anywhere. But here, if you do good, it actually matters. That's why I stick around. No work, no future. But Tatooine at least has this. It's my shot, maybe. How long have you been at this? Not that long, just this season. I'm getting better. I'm still too cautious. Good thing I've come from. I've got I have some pros to learn from. What do you want to learn? How they keep their nerves steady, bike maintenance, you know, all of it. I'm not as good as some, but I'll try. Can you tell me about the other races? You should ask them yourself. I don't feel right speaking for the pros. I'm the new guy to them. It's not my place to talk. I'd be nervous talking about Nico. He's young like me. He's practically a prodigy. What makes you say that. Everyone thinks he's the next star. The pro circuit could be signs of the promoter. Motor guy is really pushing him. What do you think about that? I hear the deal's pretty bad, but I take it in a second. I don't have Nico's skill, though. Alright. Looking for something. Who knows what's kind of best? Anyone but us super raiders. Really, we can show the track or nothing else. We've got no clue. Check with Zerka. All right, bye. Okay, I'll talk to Nico because he get a mission about his contract. Okay, I'm gonna save. What are you laughing at, kid? Come on, leave me alone. I've got stuff to worry about. What's up, Jonathan? Anything I can help you with? What's bugging you? Racer stuff. Nothing you'd understand. Don't mean to be rude, but it's kind of secret. I raced on Terrace. Ha, sure. Race your bike out of that explosion. Everyone knows that the whole planet is gone. Nobody got out. I'm not in the mood for jokes. That's things. a stupid thing to say. Got things to think about. You wouldn't know anything about it. Was it. Only Deal just with that hut mata and you will understand. You know, it only just Until blew then, up. I just don't want to talk about it. You're telling me, Nico, that nobody this entire time, you know, in, in the entire of Terrace's existence, that they've gone there and like I didn't say I just raced on there yesterday. I didn't say I raced on the race there this afternoon. I raced there a while ago. You know what I mean? How do you know I was? How do you know I didn't mean five years ago? And I was a professional, and now I've been jumping from track to track to track. You know what I mean? Like shut the fuck up, dumbass. Swoop groupie. I love watching the races. Wouldn't they just call them? Nothing swoopies? much else to do. I would rather call them a swoopy. All right, she's good, right? Zorus is baffed good at how good she is. We are baffed good. It's funny when the, t the Twi'leks get like um, a unique face. Like sometimes they'll get a unique face like this. Does that mean you wish I had a moment or two while the others post their times? Is this a racing matter? Perhaps you're interested in taking the sport. She's very friendly. I want to ask a few questions if you have the time. I'm not so, I'm not so preoccupied with track. I can minutes. Go ahead. I'll ask about you and racing. My name is Zorus Bafka. I suppose I'm one of the more experienced racers here. What do you want me to answer? This is the best place for racing. Perhaps not. What I'll do for now. Professional racers like myself travel wherever the purses are highest. So I'll see that one of the most popular tracks we lost was lost in Paris. I would promote the league time to work on it. In the meantime, we will race at that smaller venue. This is almost a recreational stop for me. So if Terrace was a major stop, why did nobody keep the records? You're telling me the records are locked in on Terrace alone and nobody else from other planets has or has uh, has uh, that information? I find that hard to believe, you know? If this track is so small, why bother? You lose the skills if you don't use them. I can race on my own on any open road, but competition gives a push to get better. Besides, if my present lends a little prestige to the track, maybe we'll get some new races out of it. How long have you been at this? A few years, but I raced under a different name when I was young. My early career was not very spectacular. Why did you change your racing name? It's not a big deal. I made the jump from one league to another and wanted to shed some bags. Fair enough. Don't waste much time on it. Much thought on it. It was purely a personal matter. There's no bearing today. What can you tell me about the other racers? There are some promising newcomers here. Garm tries hard, and I wish him well. Nico is the one to watch. It's invigorating to watch him discover his skills. I hope he manages to remember why he took up the sport. Which is not just about speed, it's a business and we have a product. No mula He's market, he must market himself carefully. What do you think about that? It is a necessary side of the sport. We must make someone money or there would be no circuit. Thanks. Um, who knows something? I must confess that I haven't had much time going about this plan. I'm talking to Terrace to see more important. Some of the hundreds of thousands of dollars seem like they know more than I would. Thanks. Appreciate the help. You've been very helpful. And friendly about it too. 
Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, guys, I ended up installing, right after stream yesterday, I installed a Keldroma Realms. Realms? Keldroma. Kel, I should call it Keldrobo Robes. Keldroma Robes, Robes mod. So it looks uh, can canonically correct. So the robes, when I get the Keldroma, they're going to look completely different. I'm actually surprised at how few mods there are for this game in terms of robes. Sorry, the track is for races and modest acceptance sign up. Please check up you since his choice. Go talk to him. All right. Let's talk to Motodahot. Every time like, he's about to announce something, Motodahot, he'll say that. Oh, yeah, I know what What do you want, huh? And I know the other thing fool. Nice way to greet your new star. I'm looky for information. Can you help? I understand I'll be on this race, and I got enough beggars through here while you're looking for money. Let's have a look at you. you have nothing really special. You race, maybe I want to swoop. I think what they should have done, I think they should actually make it so that if they, when they, you know, if they do the remake, um,. They should make it that you can be different species, too. Like, how cool... Like, who says... Who, like, I mean, cano canonically, yes. Revan was a certain species. He was male. He was human. But what if they were to change it up and say, Hey, fuck it, man. He's a Twi'lek now. He's a Rodian. You know what I mean? He's a Duros. God damn it. He's a Jawa. Who knows? They should let us do that. That'd <laughs> be cool. Anyway. I raced on Terrace and I won the season open there. Yeah, and you and a million other liars. Yeah, good, other liars. Find up, rose up, race records are lost. Yeah, because that's where they are. In a drawer somewhere on Terrace. Now everyone is a champion. My friend tells the truth. I am a Jedi. Are you going to imply that I am lying as well? Oh, now you're a champion travel Jedi? Does the story get better in every telling? Nobody here Dude, we're holding lightsabers, dipshit. You'll wipe every record from the books this backwater track. Oh, okay, enough. Oh, the funny stuff. Think you're racing with one. You have your own bike? I have my own bike. You got a bike, then you can race. I don't care about experience as long as you can get on the track. If you crash and burn, that's your problem. I just need warm bodies to pad the roster between the pros. Uh, small matter of maintenance for 100 creds. Why not drop the fee? The real race just means no crowds. I suppose you're right. Why not drop me the whole amount? Fitty. All right, fine. Yeah, that shows you mean business. Now you can use track for recreation. Once I can give you an official race. That's when you want to start. All right, I'll be back. Late. Oh wait, what sort of business do you need help with? That's not I make my money on signing good races, good ones, not great ones. I want them young and stupid. I've got one. Nico sent me. Great potential. Went so crazy a year ago and loves it. He lives for it now. And sounds like you have something special. What do you want help with? What I want is simple. I want Nico to sign the contract with me, and I want you to convince him I'll pay well. Why won't he sign? He basically says that I find his bike in repairs and in return I take a hefty cut of his money. That isn't fair! On Terra's you had to give a cut to the Swoop Gang sponsoring you, but at least the rider got the higher share of the winnings. He knows it's harsh, but he can't afford to go pro on his own and he doesn't want to give up racing. I've got him where I want him, I just need to give him a little push or a big shove. I think you should give him a better deal. You're, you're not going to pull that typical swoop jockey attitude, are you? This is business and I know what's best. What do you care whether I make money off a kid or not? He wants to race and get paid, we all win. Treat him fairly, I'll start rumors your races are rigged. Yeah, good, I don't think he rigged. would. Yeah. Uh, why won't he sign? That isn't fair. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. I'm I gotta save town. I've heard enough. You want to act in a fair manner. Now. Yeah, good. Of course, I'm it would be fair if I gave him a better deal. Did I say that? Wait, I guess it does make sense. I didn't mean to say that I'd bury him under the truck. I was just trying to skip. All right, I give him a better deal. Make it back in the long run, I guess. You, of course, are not getting paid. I trust this is the last time we'll have to hear about this matter. I'll be back later. All right, but make me regret it. All right, I actually didn't get it this time. I'm surprised. Ba it looked like Basil was trying to force persuade me, which would have been cute. Oh, hi. You another racer, then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Don't know how much longer I'll be around here. But maybe we'll have time for a few races. I talked to Mata about you. Did you? I'm not sure that's any of your business. Top racers keep to their own. I don't know you. Maybe Dude, you if you were be better on the track, I might feel like talking about it. Someone who can turn out... How long have you been racing? Just a few years. I used to run down in the canyons, but nobody sees you down there. I wanted crowds. Are you any good? I've been told I am. I might go pro. I'm looking at some contracts, but that's between me and Mata. What does racing pay? Mata has some basic incentives for good times, which you probably know. But this is just an amateur track. The pro circuit is where the real credits are. 
but even that is hurting. I guess a lot of riders were on Terrace. Hurry it up, all right? Yeah, watch my tenor. Sorry, I've been here a few years, but only. All right, all right, bye. All right. So yeah, he won't even listen to you unless you get some rep. Even though I got him a better deal, he's not gonna listen to me. Uh, I'm surprised the, the 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 mind trick worked on him, but that's how you know he's a bit of a knob. Let's talk about the business. We'll talk about it. I agree to strange things. That's for sure. Set me up with a race. So then we just need to clear positioning fee. I thought I already paid it. The fee is due before each race. How am I supposed to sponsor prize money? I invest my riders. All right, you do, will you negotiate? All right, put on. You'll make your money back. Ah, fine. I extend this discount. Only you close your mic. Well, I warn you. I have people to make sure. It, okay. Twenty-three ninety. It's really easy. Super racing fans, we have another official race to commence. Make some noise for this new contender. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what a bad start. That's okay. 2390. My time. I think I, I hit the. Uh, I'm in the max. I'm the top speed. I'm literate. See, what I don't like is you have to beat the time one at a time. So even if you get the best time in the game. Yeah! <laughs> Pass the first year and earn 10 racing bonds. Not a bad showing for you. You beat Garm's time, Diesel. Garm, you didn't take this with my thanks. We'll see if you do any better in tier 2. I'll be back later. Oh, my, my, my girl's leveled up. I'm here. She now gets. Yeah, she gets two skill points. I really thought. Wait, why is she not at 12 yet? How is she not at a level 12? Advanced or lights? I'm okay with that. So she's all oh right. I forgot they're all level below you, aren't they? Yeah, that's why. Okay. Everyone's one level below you. Except for Karth at the beginning. What's the recommend? It's just going to be improved sniper shot, so I'll give her max crit. What the hell? Let's do again. So this is about racing your business. Blah, 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 blah. I want to talk about racing. Set me up. See, you can you can only do it like. See, you can only do it one time. All right, twenty-three, twenty-nine, dude. I got twenty-two, forty-nine. I think. Second tier and up and comer. I'm both done. Oh, my. Yeah, dark, no. Hey! Best second tier ever, 30 bonds. I'm beginning to think there's mistakes. Let's just be up against the protraction. You can real. I like to save after each race. Alright, let's talk about racing. Set me for race. You have to ask every time. Just pay it. Alright. Zorus Bafka Pro. The time to beat is 2251. Well, I got 2222, so. Presents the cream of super racing, a tier 3 match. Wait, what happened to Yuka Rill? Didn't, she, didn't he say I was racing Yuka Rill? Dano, oh no. Oh, I fucked up, man. I accidentally hit. That was 
shitty. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to reload because I don't want to... Uh, they're going to be like, boo. Oh. That sucked. I'm saving the creds, guys, is what's happening. I'm saving the creds. I love how I nail it each time, except for that. Shifting a tad early, unfortunately. Even faster. And I thought I could have done better. It was faster. 2211. Just give me the top tier time. I should just beat the top tier time. That's how everything works. It's a big payoff for you. You shattered my track record to tier 3. 80 bonds. That's the last I'll be giving you, I hope. You're too fast for most of my racers. Is that it? I thought there was more tears. Right, I'll be back later. Okay. Let's talk to Nico and be like, yo dog, actually we'll save. You again? I don't really feel like talking right now. I talked to Mon about you. I suppose you've got a right to no track business. But with the times you've been posting. I convinced Mono to give you a better contract. You did? I don't believe it. I mean, I do, but I sure wasn't expecting it. I appreciate it. I really do. Now I can take my bike to the big races. There's not much of a circuit right now, but I'll be ready when it recovers. What do you think you'll be leaving? Whoa. Hard to tell. I'll get some more runs here first. I need the practice. I have to top your time. Goodbye then. Good luck. Thanks again. I meant it. You're welcome. I didn't get any light side, but now I'm gonna talk to this guy. Take an official run. Why is there a fee? Blah, blah, blah. No thanks. Uh, can I hear what the track records are? Oh, you know, I'm sorry, Yuka was second that we raced. My bad. What do you have on me? 2211. Your first time is 2259, and the last time. Zorlis, 2251. Yuka, 2329. Garm, 2390. It's pretty slow. Yeah, you can't actually buy anything from him, annoyingly, so it's like. Um, Starforge, Trouble with Gizka. Fastless mom. All right, we gotta go to the cantina still. Sam, people, candy man, missions, bro. Cause yeah, everything's on hold right now with these two. Their missions are active, pun intended. But we still got some shit to do. You're the one. You beat Taurus this time. I gotta get an auto print. Are you serious? Sure I am. You're faster. You know, one of the races. Once the races are running again, you'll be famous. Well, maybe you will. Start running on the real tour. I won't be able to. Be able to I won't. I want to be able to say I saw you when you were just starting out. How about it? Sure. Really, that's great of you. You'll be a fan favorite. Some of the races sell their prints, so that's just rude. Just you put your hand on this bat. Thanks again. Yeah, this is my. I have it on Steam. You can get this game on many different ways. Lord Ma Oh god, boys. Lord Malik is most displeased that we can't talk to him. So, <laughs> Lord Oh damn it, I was gonna cheese him again. <laughs> Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Look, I'm, I'm alive. Like the guy. Hold on. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Do I look like the guy in the background? <laughs> Are they hanging down? <laughs> oh, that's good shit. You just get easy lightsabers from this. <laughs> Oh wait, oh, oh I got a headache. I got a headache, and I'm dead. Dude, I am literally locked in here. This is some garbage. 
I'm here. She's trying to keep oh, that's some shit, bro. I got annihilated. Does she have anything? She only has basic flurry. She's not gonna make it. Dude, we're getting a we're getting cream in a croft. 1311. Did I ever reload? I as soon as I got a yeah. headache, I started dropping. That was dumb. That was bullshit. There he is, boys. Lord Matt. Oh, he's going away again. There he is again. Oh, damn. I keep trying to check. Lord Malak was mo- Alright, alright. Let's go. I'm gonna go take this guy out. I don't, like, see, he gave me a headache and I was able to recover. I was never able to find him to recover. Do it again. Big damage. Quick, hit him with a crit. Push down. Oh, I got- I just got fourth push. I can- Fast. You know he did. There you go, ladies. Give me your sabers, boys. Alright, Dark Jedi Knight Robe, which looks cool in my opinion. Double bladed saber, it's red. Crystal yellow for some reason. Just in case. That's how you know he was a sentinel. He keeps it around to remind him. But then he would have bled he would have bled his own saber crystal, so no, I don't think that would have happened. Uh short light saber. So if you want to lower the cost. I think the shorties are only like about the same as a, yeah, two to twelve. They're same as a vibro sword, which is really dumb, in my opinion. That's they really needed to work on that shit. Anywho, uh, what's a cardio package do? Constitution boosts. Okay. Uh, do I want the Jedi Knight robe or the dark Jedi Knight robe? It's exactly the same, except one's black, one's dark blue. I mean, the black one looks pretty cool, but I think it doesn't suit I'm here. my. Uh, yeah. Yes. It doesn't suit my. I like the dark blue one. We also have a red one, too. This one's Juhani's robe, though. It's, honestly, it, it looks cool if you're, like, if you're wearing red. It's like, if I were to do this, for example. I mean, that's kind of cool. Yes, yeah. Sure. But. Okay, uh, still repping Brezik's belt. I don't know if I want Brezik's belt anymore. I think I might go with that. I would usually give it to Bastila, honestly. Okay. No, I don't I don't roll double bladed right now. That's that's not the point. I've already committed to my style. Uh oh, I'm still wearing that, sorry. Ah, I keep forgetting it's you. It's you to get to here. This Wait a minute, so I had that red Jedi Knight robe the whole time. I could have let Bastila wear it. But again, yeah. that's usually what? for that's Juhani's robe. Because I was let, she was wearing a regular I could have given her an extra defense boost. Or she can have the dark Jedi Knight robe. Looks better with yellow. Huh? Yes. There you go, you're welcome. Let's go. Like for example, they could they could literally add something here. Like it's just like a place to like find like a rare box with random rolls, you know. You guys need more heal? Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm good, ship. Get wow. Feels strength. <laughs> you guys thought you'd escape that, didn't you? All right. Well, here's the cantina. At the Star Wars, Star Wars Cantina, with the weirdest creatures you've ever seen. Uh. At the Star Wars, Star Wars Cantina. Something you want, Spacer? Go talk to the office if you want to complain it's about conditions spicy. here. I don't want to hear it, you swoop racers. Do you even know what it takes to run an outpost like this? As long as there's flat <laughs> ground, what do you care? What a spaz. If you have the time. I don't really have any interest in helping you. Will this be quick? You're not much of a spokesman for Zerka. Like I said before, I don't much care what you think. I'll be on the street if business keeps dropping, and it will. 
Let's go back to my first questions. All right then. I'm looking for something. Who knows this planet best? Nobody we brought, that's for sure. Our expert said this rock was supposed to have mining potential to last for years. Nothing but garbage or good for nothing. You ever try to sell someone garbage? My name's Mud in three systems now. Good. I have a lack of business to attend to. <laughs> Gandra. I don't know. What can Gandraf do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. I saw you down near the track, didn't I? Or, or was that someone else? I've been distracted by what happened in Paris. I was at Motors, yes. Can I ask a question or two? Sure, not a problem. Might as well try to pass along some of what I know. <laughs> My racing days are pretty much done. Talk about racing. Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. Uh, my racing days are behind me. The Gandrop is the name. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. We've been talking about it for the stream, Michael. This is the best place for racing. Best place to race is wherever the track treats you sweet and your times are golden. It's that simple. You get hung up on any one track and, and he'll end up like me. <laughs> my favorite stop was Taris. Tires. Yeah. Always look forward to going back. Now, now I don't want to touch my bike at all. Uh, maybe, maybe I wasn't in the winter circle lately, but I <laughs> still race for sport, you know. <laughs> what made Tires different than here? A woman. Well, I never went on Tires, but it was always my first stop on the circuit and the last if I could help it. That doesn't matter. Now. You can't ask for more certain closure than the whole plan of being gone. <laughs> Poof. Boom. Was this guy in the original game? I don't think he was. I think this might be restored. How long did you race? Oh, well, past my prime by any measure. I started late, too. Not like the kids out there now. Some of them are too young. Where do you think that? It's a cutthroat business. I, I, I've seen some of them burn out after a year. They get dangerous and don't live long. That's not everyone, of course, but, but it happens. I'm a husband, I'll admit, but, but dying while you're on top is still dying. I'll pass. Uh, what about the other racers? I don't, I don't really talk to any of them. I, I know Zara's from the circuit, and, and we couldn't ask for a tougher lady. <laughs> She's uh, smart, too. I, I, I don't know the younger guys, but, but I've been watching Nico. Uh, good to see someone doing it for the love of the race. All right. All right. Looking for something. Ask me again in a few years, and it'll be me. <laughs> I'm probably not going back out on the circuit. Yeah, but for now, for now, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. But you, but you should try the locals. Jow is maybe a funny little guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, keep safe. Yep, yep. He's Seems a weirdo. Like tough times are coming. Though. No, I haven't left. I haven't left Anchorhead, Jordy. Not yet, anyway. We'll talk to Helena last, because she's a bit of a... Well, fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? My name is Furco Nellis. My vice is Pazak. Ah, I'm sure you do, but I really... You... All right. You guys have an opinion of what happened to Must I? An opinion would draw attention to myself. The Sith have shown what happens to things that draw their attention. All right, bye. All right. But remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life-threatening. Come back if you like a game. Eh, who are you then? Only new people that come to Junix Nard's Cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. Want to ask what things on Tatooine? What, did some Zerka promoter tell you to come to this planet? I pity you if you were expecting a prosperous mining outpost. Nothing here but sand and more sand. There's a little hunting and racing, but nothing that'll make a small man rich. Talk about racing. I don't deal with any of that. Mata the Hutt has a lock on everything race related on Tatooine. You deal with him, or you don't race. First of all, hunting. You got a license there, don't you? Faz's Lodge will be open to you now. Nothing more I can tell you about hunting than his lot won't. 
And since you got that license from Zerka, you know they look for bounties of their own. They're the ones with credits to pay and interest to protect. Um, I did fight Juhani Isabella, but I kept her alive. You don't get dark side points for killing her unless you, like, say something douchey about it, but if you're forced to defend yourself, you just end up killing her. You know? Well, no, 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 because you, you have to make the choice to kill her. You don't have to. You don't, if you can't persuade her, you can kill her, and I think you do get dark side for that. All right, then. Um, anything out of the ordinary. Suppose you're fishing for a reaction to the destruction of Taurus. That's all anyone from Offworld is talking about. Well, I'll tell you, it's about time someone kicked the Republic in the tail and got things moving. I guess the Sith are the ones that do it. Don't get me wrong, all those deaths were horrible. The war gets the money moving. Maybe they'll decide to fortify us out here. Local? No. No, no you don't know or no you won't tell me? Just no. I don't look for trouble. You'll have to talk to people yourself if you want more than that. If you don't mind... Okay, do you have anything for sale? Zerka Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. He has some things. Doesn't have much on hand. Has a craft blood blade. <laughs> and it's a balanced weapon, too. 211. I guess it's, like, smaller. Which is interesting. But it's got an attack modifier. Like, it's cool to see the rare stuff. Stealth unit. That would be good for mission, but I don't I don't want to spend the money. Oh, shit, I just realized. I forgot. You can sell anything to anybody, so, um, hold on. Race bonds. You should be able to sell them all. Easy way to get money. I almost forgot about selling race bonds. I'm selling them to the bartender, which is awesome. There you go. Do you really? How much more money do you get? Is it worth reloading for that? Because if it's double, because I know their shit's expensive. It's like double shit. That's that's worth it then. I'm gonna reload. Uh, thirteen eleven, thirteen fifteen. I'll have to go back into Anchorhead again, but I can skip through all the... The only thing that took a long time was the conversations. I can skip through them. Because I have enough money to complete it. Because I think the cheapest thing on Yavin is, uh... Something you want. No. Well, now. That's... We got enough cash. We're gonna have to spend some money. Yeah. I'm sorry. Do I know you? I'm here, mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew as well as I communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. 
Now what is this about? Where is father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Bastila. That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? My mother's long dead, if you must know. Is that so? Well, I'll be joining her soon enough, I suppose. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. All right, thanks, Jonathan, for letting me know. Well, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I haven't realized Jedi. He'll buy racing bonds for like 200 credits. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition? No, that'd be money. You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for great dragon pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a great dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? You do be insulted. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it? Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you'd doubt me. Why don't, don't you want to get the holocron yourself, Miss Helena? As my daughter is quick to point out, I haven't the coin to hire another expedition. Nor am I the adventurer my husband was. Don't you want to find your father's remains, Basil? What remains would there be? Great dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human. And the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron. An ignoble end to a fine man. What about your mother's sickness? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, Mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Uncle. I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Okay, I think that's it for here. It's all worth doing, it is. Day tripper, one way ticket. It's so I found out. Yeah, see, there's nothing really over here except for the droid shop. I, I, I hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt of the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Oh, come on. There's got to be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> what the... Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. That's awesome. I love these little moments. Tumbleweed blocking our path. I'll save. Yeah, this yeah, four speed is useful for sure. There's our boy HK. Greetings. 
Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query, would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Mitch battled in protocol, outline your functions. Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator right. and cultural am analyst. I all right. And I am also oh. proficient in yes, personal yes. combat. Why are you keeping info to yourself? Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. Access to your memory is restricted. Statement. Indeed, it is possible that the Ithorian placed the restraining bolt on me to prevent my return to a previous owner. It is also possible that the removal of the bolt will not restore memory functions. Without my memory, I do not know if I know the answer. Do not interpret this as a reduction of my worth, however. More organic my meat capabilities bags. are quite expensive. What's funny is you need HK to go into the sand people entrance. And but you also need her to go in there as well, right? So you need her in there for Griff. So and also you need Basil for the wait or for the waste so you can find you know, her father's shit. So I'm gonna do that first before I go to the sand people and I'll have to tag her out with HK. How do I know they'll be loyal at once the restraining bolts removed? Assurance. I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. I like the, well, the mod for HK. It is rare HK. that I am able good. to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. Why do you assume that? Extrapolation. You are no farmer or diplomat. You are armed and comfortable as such. We will mesh well. Does, doesn't Yuka question you about your reluctance to reveal your functions? Explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Athorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. Objection. My functions are wasted here, prospective. Um, I'm not familiar with them. What else do they make? Answer. With the restraining bolt in place, I do not have access to my memory core. I suspect, however, by the fine quality of my manufacture, that they are a prestigious company indeed. I suspect I am of unique construction, or perhaps I was intended for a very specific customer. How I ended up here, I can hardly say. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll see about purchasing it. Statement. You. The fool Ithorian has decided I am to be the an meat expensive bag Ithorian. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement, I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Does Yuka know he talked to him about this? Statement, I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification, oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me. Please. He hates being here. It's so funny. All right, let's talk to him. I'm gonna say before I talk to him because you never know. Who is this customer? I don't recognize. Perhaps you're paying awful money, Yukalaka. What do you have available? You lucky to come to this time. I have one droid ready to go. To possession of it, an HK-47. It's a fine protocol translator. I think it's been modified. Thanks so I understand the Sand People dialect. And also has come with armor mounts. Combat ready, perhaps. Let me ask questions about it. Of course, let me just say that every function I've tested is performed perfectly. Those I could find anyway. 
They don't seem to know much about it. It's been a little uncooperative. They get that way when they go too long with the memory. And if wipe. the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it. You can leave it alone if you find this matter amusing. It might be a little eccentric, but it's stable. Why haven't you wiped his memory? I would have, but I can't seem to access any inner circuits. It's definitely meant for security and built to last. At any rate, he claims he doesn't have access to his original memory core anyway. To tell the truth, it's hard to say. What functions have you tested? I haven't examined his program, but I have made some observations. It has obvious protocol and translation skills, including exam people dialects, apparently. Surprisingly, it also handles weapons exceptionally well. I didn't see any comment, but it won't tell. A sovereign thing. It needs to sell itself better. Two moisture farmers have been, hit, been in, but it just stood there. What does the HK-47 designation mean? I haven't got a clue. It doesn't match any protocol or utility standard. I assume it's a retired model. I'd tell you to ask the thing yourself, but it's pretty stubborn. Quality construction, though. Uh, Alright. Where'd you get it? I acquired the door from a friend that managed an off-world circle warehouse. It was, it, was in, it was in trade for debt he owed. Gee, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. Warehouse workers have a bad habit of paying off their debts with other people's property, you know? He said no one would miss it. Might have been surplus. It doesn't look like it was Zerka made, though. Okay, let's talk price. I give a discount because I hear you're super racer like my brother, but my arms are hard right now. It's a very solid machine, good shape. I can't let it go for less than 5,000. 5,000? You lower your price? 4,000, not a credit less. That was quick, desperate to sell. Uh, no, not really, but the first figure really was a little high. You never know. Perhaps I can miss you to go lower. How low are you expecting me to go these difficult times? The, dro the debt the droid cover was a large one. Come now, think of the advertising you'll get from me. I will not. Hold on, let's load. I'll try that again. I think I can. I can't remember if I can persuade him. Um. And if. Um. I'll save again, that way I know I don't have to talk to him. Can I talk to him again? And if I don't want to threaten him. I don't know if it's possible to win this at my current rank. I mean, I have the credits, but it's just a lot of money, you know? It's just 4K. Um. And if... Oh, it... Oh, right. Come on! Damn it. Whatever. Of course you will. Lose all those credits. Thank you very much. Let's go over and talk to it. It's a good person, especially if it actually speaks the same people dialect, like I said. Of course, I don't think it was telling me everything. Not many droids are programmed to lie, though. Looking for exotic something called a star map. I deal mostly in smooth parts and droid maintenance. Hmm, maybe I heard a Jawa mutter something about old things. But I could have misheard. They cover very large areas when they scavenge. We're not doing much right now. What is stopping Jawas from scavenging? Again, I may have misunderstood, but I think some of the tribe mates are missing. I think they wanted help. I stay away from trouble, but if you were interested, there was Jawa by the city gate. You'll need a droid to translate, though. I don't need a translator. I understand most languages fine. Impressive. HK, I told you, will be a considerable help as well. I imagine, though. I'm still not certain what it's fully capable of. Do the Jawas bring you HK? No, they assemble the, or working units to sell themselves. They don't have off the place to we say they bring in parts. There's occasional antique, old blasters, and the like, tattooing is a few buried secrets. What's stopping them from scavenging? Yeah, I mean, uh... I stay away from trouble. Oh, sorry, I already... It's okay. 
Um, do we have a soccer sized droids? Let's see what you got. Just droid shit, but I, I'm not in the market for it. Okay, so unfortunately I lost 4k, which means I'm down to a thousand creds, which I had like 5,000, but it sucks. But I will sell all my shit on that Yavin place. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Kill something Answer. for me? Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. At your command, of course, Master. What's up, Abdul? Hey, Ricky. Shall me now. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. All right, here's the thing I'm wondering about. Um, HK, do I want to bring him and then ditch mission for now? And then tag in, take Bastil out of the equation? Because mission is kind of weak. So it's kind of, but he's also dark side, so it's like... You know what I mean? Like, there's really only two dark side companions. You pretty much got to roll with these two the entire time. I don't know. Because I want, I want Basil with me, but a mission I'll need later, like when I go into the Sand People. Well, no, I need, the thing is. Oh, do you have to go back in? Hold on, let's do this. I need Bastila because I'm in a mission for her. Right? I'm here. Master. Skills. What do they recommend for him? Repair. Just gonna give him repair points. All these are class skills. But it only lets us use two at a time, which doesn't make any sense to me. Might make sense for him, though. Yeah, I'll probably give him all that first. He just wants me to do repair. I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, I guess what they're trying to do... Since he only has two skills, you might they're trying to get like, hey, you can only... Awareness. Blaster pistol for a weapon focus. Blaster rifle. There's got to be something better he can use. Sith assassin pistol. 3 to 6. 3 to 12. Oh, that's Zalbar's. I can always give him Zalbar's blaster. What's Zalbar going to do about it? There you go. Or bowcaster, I should say. Sure. Alright, we'll hang on with that for a bit. Because, like I said, we don't need mission until we get to the Sand People location. Yeah, mods, Ben. Mods, mods, mods. You there, of your kind, you help us ease of Java? There are troubles from ghosts among the sands. Can you be more clear? I'm having trouble understanding you. Statement. It is doubtful he can be clearer. Their language is difficult even for droids. He is using a trade language to try and help. Toba's here is not a job. We must use a language of trade because you listen complicated to what we say simply. Why would I understand your true language? What problem Java would have for you? You have ears that do not listen. What do you want, Java? Isis, I am leader of the tribe that is mine. You are not the same kind leader of for your tribe. 
There are troubles that we have. The giant's made of sand. They are horned ghosts to take us away. Can you help me out here? Translation. 98% probability that members of the miniature organics tribe are being held by sand people master. Doubtless he wishes assistance. What about the other 2%? Translation. 2% probability that the miniature organic is simply looking for trouble and needs to be blasted. That may be wishful thinking <laughs> on my part, master. Uh, what do you want me to do? There's been no help given by asking the great group that digs the machines. Now it's easy asks you. Long as we scavenge among you and those came before, we have things you would like for the service. Tell me about where your people are, maybe I'll help. People of the sand in the sand. There's a place in the far south where they live. Approach holds great fighting. Bring the tribe from in to out, and there will be payment and trade and thanks. A few more questions, alright? Hands will be able to free the tribe. Oh, jeez. Sorry, it's just... Why have you taken? Why have they taken your people? We find things and they use them. Jawa slave serving. They leave with the whip and gaffy. So these Jawas are scavengers who were enslaved by the Sand People. I think I am beginning to understand his plight. Keep the digs we trade. They're trading are free with people of the Sand. We serve and die. We prefer you. Any more questions? Uh, tell me about those that came before. You sound an anchor at a place named and named again. You can come to date, but it was already dug up. Settle over and over. Also, long ago, she fell after Ballast above. Now he's scavenged to find the pieces. It could be that this Jawa knows things about this planet's history that the Republic has no inkling of. You dig the ore and dirt. In time from now, we will dig, dig you, just like digging those that came before. Uh. Only for something called a star map, can you help? The things I know, yes, from those came before. The guide to lights far away, I can tell you. First on my tribe, and we will trade with what we need. You've told me after I help you, why should I believe this? It does seem convenient, but we've no reason to disbelieve this creature. Warning. More likely, the deceiving little organic hopes to trick you into going there so you release his people while searching, Master. I know this. Listen to my words. I cannot know without seeing it. A map of stars to those from before. Please release the tribe and I'll make this known to you. Your words will be fair with me. Alright, I'll check it out when I leave the city. Hope you have the luck you need. Thank you. Okay, now... He's just standing there, guarding the gate. He's like, don't you pull anything. <laughs> when he meant, when they said gate guard, I think they, they, he's taking it a little too seriously. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. I have it. Well, let's see it. Come on. Here you go. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out Still there. You'll need it. Thanks, big player. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Ah, uh, yes, you must be the Sith Dreadnought he spoke of. <laughs> what do you mean by you old boys? You're just another of his buddies from that hunting club. Do I look like I know a hunting club kind. buddy? You all cover for each other, I bet. Well, he can do what he wants. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own I love that you can see the droids so in the back in the corner there. You sound like you're planning to kill him. Oh, I'm through planning. Seeing the bluff side of the screen. I just left him a little <laughs> mess <laughs> that he has to take care of. Twitch it away. Smart, he'll be just fine. That was the first thing I spotted. Smart. Every time when I came out here. What are you talking about? Just a little something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes so our to years go. together. Something that will blow up in his face. Of course, he'll never understand like how appropriate face. it is. Got him. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. What if he has a message for you? Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. So kill him, if he that lives, makes sense. he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. All right, bye. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. All right, whatever you say, lady. All right, so this is the first of many. The thing is, those sand people attack from all angles, but I can see way further out into the... Like, you will get attacked by them for, like, random reasons. 
I'm wondering if I should do it first. I'll go talk to him first, but I might get attacked on the way over. Actually, I might not. I have HK with me. The thing is, though, it's good to take take them out because, to some degree, because um, because the gappy sticks are worth money. Anyone them. out there? Could you help? I seem to be uh, doomed. Coming. I love it. You can sabotage it. I might need hey to there. switch. Thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. Oh, hey, it's you. I remember you at Faz's place. Could I get you to help out a fellow hunter? <laughs> I seem to be doomed, yeah. Please. What happened here? Well, uh, it would appear that I've worn out my welcome with my wife, Marlena. She fixes my droids. <laughs> Fixed them good this time. Commentary. One would hope the female is better at repairs than Yukalaka. I still would like to crush his neck, master. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. Yeah, she was right. You sit back and let your droids do the hunting? You know, now really isn't the time for a lecture. Of course, I might be more receptive after I'm rescued. This doesn't seem very sporting. Look, friend, some may talk about honor in the hunt, but they still sell their trophies. He's not wrong. Why would you do this? Something about me not following her archaic rules so for proper her. conduct in a marriage. I swear I never saw this coming. You don't seem too concerned about what triggered this. Hey, I'm the victim here. I'm not sure how divorce works where you're from, but this is a little extreme, don't you think? I, I do agree with that. Anyway, what do you want me to do? The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know. I'll let to HK fix them. repair them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. Commentary. I say we blast the meat bag and save you the trouble, master. What's with all the droids lately? My wife get to you too? Negative. I just don't like organic meat bags, except for the master, of course. Uh, I'd uh, really appreciate a bit of help, please. All right, I'll try to help out. Hold just on. access each droid's repair interface. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and uh, ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this, I swear. Yes. Acknowledgement. All right. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids have trapped you. They'll hold you until you die of thirst. Make a mistake while repairing them, they explode. Have a good death. My mother was right about you. Automatic repair. Having fun on the dune. Having fun on the. Oh, sorry. Yes. That was unpleasant. Thanks for your help. I'd have been a goner. Hey, and the old bat thought I was dead. <laughs> Never asked me for anything, but I consider my life worth something. Please, take this. I insist. Thanks. Thanks again. I doubt any of those uptight hunters would have helped, and I doubt the wife is coming back. I'm heading back to the shop. I hope she left the manuals for these things behind. Ungrateful little. Yeah, I'm glad they did too. I don't know why the audio would have been cut. He gave me 400 creds for that. I could have used more, if I'm honest. I wonder if they won't attack me as much with... Nope. 
<laughs> Literally, the timing of that. I wonder if they won't attack me as much with HK. They instantly attack me. Like, bro, that doesn't get much better timing than that, doesn't it? All right, fine. <laughs> What are you doing? Heal, heal. There you go. He's, he's in a team. Power attack, quick. He's vulnerable. Power attack. Do it again. Oh, he's attacking someone else. You can hit it pretty good. Oh shit! No! Bro, give me a fucking break. Now I gotta fix all that shit again? Man, that's so annoying. I had healed up, Anyone out there? but it hadn't triggered in time. Hey there. Oh. Well, come. She. I say, I take a Which I need. Oh. What can I do? Acknowledgement. Having fun on the dune. So annoying, man. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. It looked like it got fixed for a minute. You could also try and fix them yourself and save yourself the repair parts. But. What? That was. Unpleasant. You know? I think I should ask for more. What else could I give you? I need what I have to repair my drawer. You know the rescue is worth more. Look, I re Alright, fine. Thanks again. I'm in I tried. Didn't work. Not worth resaving all that shit. Alright, we're gonna save now. See if I can make my way to this body without getting attacked. Sucks, bro. Yeah, if you want to get that. down, bro. She doesn't even have a chance. Dude, I'm done. 
I have flamethrower. Ready. HK, you're gonna get your ass kicked. I, why, why is it so weak? I don't understand. Everyone's getting spiced out here. Bro! Why is it so difficult? What is this? I, I gotta check the difficulty, honestly. There's no way. This is fucking insane. Like, see how fast I'm being dropped? It makes no sense. It's not normal. Are you sure? Getting absolutely annihilated. I'm here. Sure. I might, um... Ditch AK for now. I'm... Okay, stop. We need some power. Wait, what the fuck? I changed... What can I do? What? I'm here. Improve critical strike. I mean, I guess, but... Does he have anything new he could wear? I mean, he's got new of these. Response, constitution, or... I think dexterity is important for the tanks. Anything to boost the reflexes? He's still repping the vibro double. Is there anything better? I think the vibro double blade is upgradable. I think. No, it's not. Yes. Let's see how it goes. These are the regular sand people. They're, they're not the ones that are like. Small group of sit, yeah, but well, that did the trick. I mean, I froze him finally. Chuck a name. Oh, I and Zalbar's down. What the f Bro, what is going on? And they're down too. Why, why am I getting so ice? What the fuck, man? Dude, I can't even beat them. Why are they so hard? Dude, that makes no sense. I, I can barely get a hit in. Bro, I don't know how I'm gonna get by this then. I guess I'll put on a melee shield. Let's give that a try. Master? Yes. What? I've never had this much trouble. I might have to bring Juhani. I know this is setting to make it easy, but I don't want to change it to easy. Come on. She's already down. Dude. What's going on? I can't be good. There's no way. Why would it be the mods I'm using? Why? What mod would have made them this, this difficulty? This difficult. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna even get by this. I've always been the same. I've always been the same level on this, man. Like, this is unbeatable. Let's try going over here then. Let's avoid them for a second. What can I do? Yes. 
It's probably just going to recommend treat injury. Which is kind of redundant. I'd rather do this with them. Another Jedi Guardian. But she's going to be a single held Jedi. Just curious to see. I don't need Jolie. I've never I've never done Jolie first. I've always gone here first. That's why I'm confused why this is so difficult. It shouldn't be. These guys shouldn't be this like I don't know if I want to do that right now. I might give her Master Critical. That's all she gets, I guess. Well, she's got her lightsaber. It hasn't been upgraded. She can have her Jedi Knight robe. Let's go with the resist bludgeoning resistance. I mean, that's all I can give her right what? now. Let's try talking to these guys, because we'll see if oh, I can defend. Like, if I do this mission, it might change things. You. Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. Is it all of them, or is it just some of them? You would be right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it. Here they come again. How did it do that? It's like those <laughs> those guys were slapping so many cheeks. Those, that group of guys is just so OP. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're still kind of they're still tricky, but at least like. Just take them out. Where'd he go? I can't believe she she still only has cure. What? You cannot win. Oh god, I hate that. Oh, big damage for him. Oh, run away. I'll still take it. The thing is, I want that body. You know what I mean? I want their, I want their, their gaffies, and I want that. Uh, I want to search the body there. Thanks for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. 
We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. I'm sure I stop the sand people attacks. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead I of you. I suppose I can go you stop the sand the people attacks the now. Sand. Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed but to protect But I need their, their crawlers. That place so is I have a to fortress, kill at least one a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. Glad it's not my job. Do you have anything about? Do you know anything about the sand people? Just that they attack everything on sight. Well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider's as good as dead. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. It's like a fortress now. I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me, I'd sneak in. Well, actually, I'd just get back to Anchorhead. Sam people are using turrets. But they use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. I don't have time for this sort of thing. Fine, whatever. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can have it. Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can bind back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Okay, sorry guys. Okay. We just need to really be a higher level. That's like a major issue right now, okay. I know what we can do. I'm here. Huh? No one's gonna see this mission. It's gonna take a while, but... I wanna... Oh, it doesn't matter. It just It just unhides them, man. That's dirty. That is some rude shit. Mission, are you gonna stand there? Or are you gonna help? Yeah. She's down in a second. Sure. Ah! Bro, it's insane. Like toast. Alright, let's do this. Ah! Steps on this. Oh, it, oh, he's an elite warrior, that's why. They are elites. Okay, just a minute. Power attack, power attack, power attack, power, 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 go, go, go! Run! And he's holy. Run. So they changed them so that these aren't standard sand people anymore. Fuck off. That did not work. God, I can't even. Okay, I'll have to do it. Oh shit. Uh. <laughs> this is just silly, bro. 
I've never had this much trouble, even with these. But they changed them. They're not standard. Um, where is it? What am I doing? Where's my med packs? I thought they're not alphabetized. I mean, I think I can sort them. Where is it? Med, med kit. That. I'm trying to do a jump attack and then I just end up wasting it. That guy's still chilling. <laughs> Bitch. I'm just, getting I'm just getting sauced. I can't even stop to heal. No way. There's no way I can do this. Dude, they gotta admit that's kind of balls. It's fucking pointless, man. I can't I can't kill them. They're not, that's the thing. That's that's dumb. I was hoping to just do it. You know what? Let's just do this. Just for this fight, because that is asinine. change it I hate doing that but man that's just ridiculous no, you jump dipshit I hate that when he doesn't engage you're supposed to jump <laughs> Still getting sauced. I'm still getting spiced. What the fuck? Guys, this is bullshit. It, they're totally broken. They're broken as fuck. I got one. Quick. Up or out. The force fights with me. You shall. Damn it! It's a battle of will. Dude, <laughs> just the holy warrior, that's it. Man, this sucks! Dude, that's not possible to why would they do that though? Like why would it be so insanely impossible? Great, it's not letting me. Oh, wait, it did. Man, I am fuckered. Maybe I can use multiple and just, like, stack them. Where's the med kit? It keeps disappearing. I mean, oh, God. It shouldn't be this difficult to find stuff. There you go. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let's shield up. Oh, are you... There. Quick. Jump. And I miss, of course. Quick power attack. Quick, quick, quick. While he's, while he's stasis-sized. Do it again. Fuck him up. Finish him. Fuck you, bitch. 
Dude, that is ridiculous. I think what they're trying to do is make it so you do not fight them. I think that's what they're trying to do. But the problem is... Uh, sorry. What am I doing? No, 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 no. Um... I think they want you to resolve the dispute. So, I the thing is, I, was, I wasn't looking to kill these guys. All I was doing was trying to loot this corpse. I think wherever the corpse is, watch it be like five credits. <laughs> I think I'm better off to just resolve the dispute with the sand people. But then once you get over there, it doesn't matter. Yeah, force wave would be money in the bank. That just isn't worth it. I'm okay, here. You guys can use her. The fact, but they're a level below me, right? Your wish. Sure. Jesus. I better save. I mean, these guys are gonna be easy. All right, isn't this? This is the trap. Okay, yeah, this is where the boys are. I can't do frag mine. Well, mission probably can. Uh. I'm here. What? Help! Help me! Don't let me die under here, please! What? Please don't attack me, sand people. Sure. Yes? Huh? Yes? I gotta get a level up, basically. What can I do? When? Oh, there's more sandies over there. What? Thanks. See ya. <laughs> Just tell me where I need to go. Please help. I can't get out. Three, two. Dude, Basil, one. you're gonna get spiced. We got you good now. Squee. We did a good ambush. You better pay up 500 credits. You die otherwise. Perhaps I can persuade you not to do this. What, why would we stop? You're pretty weak right now. We got you good. I'll tell the others how smart you are. No way. It's so much harder to like... Come on, come on. I hate how much of a delay there is. Oh, I love the, I love the simultaneous kills. Those are so satisfying. Strength gauntlets. Well, I have, that's, I mean, that's not gonna help me because I already have the Eradu strength amplifier. She's got strength, but she's got stabilized. That probably makes more yes. sense. But now these refuse piles. Excuse me. I'd rather go over there and fight the raids. Kind of, let me see what kind of sand people they are. They're warriors. They're standard sandies. So the fact that the ran... I think the... Yeah, because of the restored mod, it brought in, like, the special guys. Who were, like, proper hunters. Okay, I'm glad I... I'm glad I missed that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Joel is good because he's a counselor, so he's got like all those force, like he's got high force points, so he can heal you and maintain you. He's, I, I brought Jolie a lot. Well, we're not going to fight the chieftain, right? Because we're going to bring HK, so it's not going to be the end of the world. And his people in this area will stop attacking us. That's the beauty. I just realized, though, we didn't get any sand people uniforms from them, so I might actually be forced. Oh, dicks and ass. Is it gonna be... I hope it's regs. I hope it's not the same guys. Let's see. Or I'm toast. Elite warrior. Elite warrior. Elite... Holy... It's the same... It's the same motherfuckers. There's nothing I can do about it, guys. There's nothing I can do. They just attack me. <laughs> Lene, quick, before they get over here, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Take that. You cannot win. It doesn't even do anything, bro. <laughs> I'm dead. Time to go. Time to go. Now, this is such BS, man. Fuck off! I cannot stand that when I'm trying to heal up. so close to death. And then he gets to just fucking flurry my ass. No. I'm dead. <laughs> Dude! Dude, this is so pointless. They just... I just... I gotta avoid them. Wait, they came back! What can I do? They came back! <laughs> Alright, we Gucci. We managed to outrun them for a little bit. They came back, bro. They don't actually have the area. Alright, we're what? full health. What? But, here's the problem. Did we ever pick up any... No, see, they did not pick up anything. So I'm gonna go avoid these clowns. The thing is, Shell, I've, I've played the restoration mod my last run. I never had these problems. Unless I installed like 1.1 or something. See ya, homies. I, I still need to take out some sand people though because... Like, how do you miss a target that broad? Oh wait, did I not switch my... Oh shit, I didn't switch my damage back, sorry. Hold on, um... My bad. At least I'm gonna get raid plates from this. You know what's funny about this is I mentioned. Oh, come on, man, it's just tedious now. Just taking the piss, like I said. Yes. What? what? As mentioned, I'm going to have to do this. A stasis wheel would be appreciated. You just let it tackle us, the regular sand is no problem. He's an 
elite warrior. I almost talk shit. Running. Now we can all take this guy out. There, all of us take him down. Let's go. Boys down. Okay, now, like I said, they're just camping. Look at them coming up. And... Oh shit! Cancel! 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 I didn't mean to do that. You should have to walk away. Didn't work. Let's make this. I know. I'm, I'm stuck. Let's go. So he's down. Are we all good? Are we good? Now. Now we can actually equip one, and I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with this. I'm gonna get rid of mission, because I think the thing with Bast. Oh, sorry, I'm not gonna get rid of mission. I'm gonna keep mission. I'm a ditch. Um, I'm gonna ditch Bastila. I know it sounds crazy, but Bastila's thing is over there, I think. But, whoa, hello. And these gappy sticks are worth money, so I can sell all this shit. And there's some. I don't know why I bought the Bantha fodder. I forgot they carry Bantha fodder as well. Plus, if I go around looking like a sand person, there's less chance they're gonna actually attack me. No! <sighs> I'm not trying Didn't to do work. that. I'm not, I promise you. I'm just trying to pick this up. There was a lot of enemies in this region. What can I do? What? What? What can I do? Huh? All right. What? What can I do? Uh. Acknowledgement. Why? John, what does that do, Jonathan? Does that do anything special? Okay. Uh, right. So I'm gonna put on. All right, let's yes. go. We're gonna make our way. We've got everybody we need for this mission. Just don't do anything crazy like that while they're around. Oh wait a minute! No, no, hold on. Don't I actually need to go that way? Memorabilia, oh, I don't care. I'm not going to. <laughs> I said yeah. many times, that's why I'm bringing HJ. Huh? And then that'll be where I need to take Bastila. Either way, it works out. I remember what I ended up doing was going this way and just taking all their mines. I think I just walked all the way through the Sand People territory stealing mines. But this is an average plasma. This is a plasma mine, so... And that'll bring you to the Crate Dragon area. I'm basically going to be saving this for... Um, oh, never mind. Yeah, your awareness has to be pretty high, though. Just don't get too close to them. If you get too close to them, they will be like, um, who the fuck are you? I think I might Jedi just because it's so funny. Because you can you can basically get Malik stuck too. I'm gonna save every step of the way. All their defenses are being dissembled. I 
I'm gonna say before I go near that dude. I just have that feeling, you know? Eventually we will be friend to these guys, so Okay, I'm a switch. Yes. See they don't care about droids, but they do care about people. I think they will take umbrage to you snooping around, so I'm definitely not gonna do that. Sampio <laughs> Warriors obviously recognize you and it's astounding you are here. You this guy's may have a lot of fast turrets, but isn't effective at close range. Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Quickly, tell him we are not a threat. Translation. <laughs> Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. Apologize for being here. Say we want peace. Translation. Translation. He is expressing disbelief. As am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master. But it is your call. Dude, those fucking elite That <laughs> you can't seem to understand except the chief stone is obvious. He clearly despises outsiders. Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Tell him we want a peaceful solution. Translation. I'm naked. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? Ask him what it is that he wants. Translation. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation, he wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Tell him we will get them. Will he also tell us about any captives he has? Translation. Translation. He says you will get no more answers until you have proven you are an ally of the Sand People. Tell him he will get it. Translation. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. You will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Okay. Well, we shall see. Now, I'm, I don't think they're going to attack me, so... Oh, I always do that. What? Okay, so like I said, I think we're friend of the. I think they've been to put a temporary hold on attacks until I get back. So I hope they don't mind. I'm gonna save again. Again, I'm a paranoid. I'm sipping. I've been smoking. I've been sipping. I've been fucking around with two bitches, but I never make a word to my missus. Huh? Mission? Huh? Simple. We'll see what happens if like she recovers the mine as this. They don't seem to care when a sand person does it, but they might when Mission does it. No, they don't give a fuck. Ready. Yes. Ready. And that's the kind of attitude I want to hear. Ready. What's up, Bill? 
But yeah, I think the idea is like these guys are way out and out, like out of your abilities. So you should probably figure out a way to take them out. But once we get over here, I think that's where shit hits the fizzle. I mean, I, what you know what probably makes the most sense is to just fast travel back to our to the Ebonhawk. Because if we're going to go to if we have to go to Zerka, I'm just gonna walk over here. Like I said, I want to get some mines. I know there's gonna be mines at this entrance. I just want to confirm which is this what this is. Because I know this goes somewhere and that'll go back to the main area. I think this will go to the crate dragon location. Huh? Master. What? 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 Simple. We're gonna say, like I said, man, we're gonna save most Ready. of these mines sure. for mouths. Eastern dudes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where the crate dragon den is. And that just brings us back to where we were. Alright, so let's just uh, map it up and we will ebb and hawk it. Just it'll be so much faster to do it this way. Wait a minute. Didn't I get a crystal sigil or did I equip that already? I equipped the sigil crystal, right? Yeah. But uh, the crate dragon crystal, that thing is going to slap the cheeks for weeks, guys. I don't, like I said, I don't totally remember um, where the, where Basil is pop. I think it's in the Cray Dragon area off to the side. I think, like in the Eastern Dune Sea. Oh, sorry, I should probably speak to you. Greetings again from the offices of Zerger. I have some gaffy sticks. I see that. This is the regulars. And I'll take those off your head. Uh. Yes, agreement. we're still waiting for you. We don't have and our There may be a non-violent solution. I should remind you that you were not retained as a diplomatic representative. You are a hunter and should go after your prey as we agreed. You are not authorized to do anything other than deliver right, what he's was in promised. The cave. Right, right, do right. so and don't talk of this foolishness again. That's right. Very well. Uh I have there. to go. I think you actually get them from this guy. He do you have any voice evaporators? I may, but it's not something I usually sell. What do you want them for? Software attacks. Uh, exactly the kind of opinions that Zerka doesn't like to support in their policies. I like it. Well, I have two of the finest evaporators. Of course, they only produce one model right now. Go for the pair. I won't break them up. Can you lower the price? Zerka's costing this year. Who cares about their money? Come on, man, you can do it. Yes, I got it. <laughs> 200 credits. All right. Pleasure in business with you. Come again. All right, we got it. Let's bounce. Now let's go off of this peace treaty in the form of vaporators. And I think if you actually... Um, do that. I think he will let Griff out. Who let Griff out? I know where Griff is being held, though. You can either find him or you have to leave and let him out. I can't remember what it is. It's pretty cool, though, nonetheless, you know? Lord Malek was Hmm? Good Unfortunately, oh wait. What? What? Uh, oh, I don't sure. have her with me. I just realized I don't have Basila. I would have used the speed. Not with all conversations, Shell, but yeah, a good chunk of them you can do that. Like that I really hope I don't get attacked if I do I'm just gonna hightail it I do remember these sand people being kind of a pain in the ass like the elite ones and I would often just run away from them but we'll see what happens
Yeah, I don't think they attack you once you're in league with them. I think we fully looked at all of them. There's more... Cr oh, there's more sand people over there. Oh, those are the ones who are attacking me. I just want to do a test. So let's make a save. Oh. I... They might act... Those are the guys that I started fighting with. And I didn't actually finish the job. I just want to see if I can maybe take out the crates. Because... Or not the crates. Sorry. The uh, raids. Because... If these guys are Gucci now, I have a feeling they're not. They're probably still going to want to attack me. I'm just going to give them a wide berth. Because I, they might just be inoperable NPCs now. But these guys are worth cash. Oh, I this big ass target. Oh, I'm like running over. Whoa, 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 Nano. Oh my god, how are they just bullet sponges? Why is everybody such a full of them? Why are they just bullet sponges? Honestly, they're taking the piss for the sake of taking the piss. Sure. And there he goes. Why? You just miss, 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 miss. Even if you go single hilt, it doesn't matter. You're still missing. Why are the raids so difficult? Everybody's so difficult. I used to take these guys out with you. Like, just a waste of my fucking time. I wonder if there's a way you can alter the game so that it doesn't just cheese you. The problem with healing, it does such, does such a small amount of health, and then they catch up with you. And just lower the health anyway. Shell, I, I get it. I just don't have the. I haven't. I haven't leveled up yet. There's nothing I can do. And plus, since I'm a since I'm a guardian, um, the chances of me getting a level up with it's so annoying. It's just so cringe. I don't want to waste the life support pack. I'm not gonna make it. You know, fuck this, man. I shouldn't have to do this every time. It's just literally like they're doing it just. I've never had problems with raids, ever, in my entire KOTOR career. And I missed. Thanks for getting me killed. Appreciate it. I shouldn't have bothered, I should just went. <laughs> just hit him, he's right in front of you, please. <laughs> oh my god, that's a level up, let's go. Ah, uh, shit. See, my persuade I want up, but... I think I gotta do treat injury this round. Yeah, see, I can't get Stasis Field yet. I, I Let's see, I'll probably end up going for Force Whirlwind. Yeah. At least my vitality is going up. Let's go, big guy. I think I think they should up, up, upgrade as well. The fact that I'm missing everything is starting to make no sense. Why am I missing? It doesn't make sense, guys. Jesus Christ. 
It's just so. That's still like. Fucking garbage, man. Did not like that at all. What? I don't have to do. I don't know if there's any more raids over here. <sighs> I'm just gonna go back to them. I didn't think the raids would be... No, for real though, I didn't think like raids would be an issue. But I'm worried because I've already got this mod installed. Like if it's possible to install an old raid. Like if that's the case, they just ramped up. There should be an option. Like why would I want that? Why would I want a difficulty mod though? It doesn't make sense why anyone would change the restoration mod. To make it harder when you, there's already difficulty settings. You know what I mean? Like it's like it doesn't make sense why they would do that. Let's just get this going. Even with a level up, I don't know if it's really going to help me that much. Because I think I'm a level 13 now. I think I would have preferred to get a few more skills, but the feats were nice. But yeah, they're not really doing much for me right now. Master? What? Nice to go to Joe Lee as well. What? Master? Yes. I think I got this corpse, but I'll just double check. Tell them we have the moisture converters. Translation. Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Good. Let's get this shit over with. Surprise, you have returned. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Tell him we have them. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He does not trust you, Master. But you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave. But be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. I have a few questions for him. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. Um, ask about s captives. Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. Ask if he knows about the Jawas Aziz told us about. Translation. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Ask if he knows about the mission's brother. Translation. Translation. 
He says that by his very presence, this griff defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance of usefulness to them. Yep, that would be Griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. Perhaps we could do it, Master. Let's go back. The protocol. We should... Ask about the star map. Translation. Translation. He says that what you seek is far from here in the Eastern Dune Sea. He will give you a map so you can find your way. Translation. His people found it, but didn't scavenge it because a crate dragon took up residence in the excavation. How do I pass it? Translation. Translation. Your ignorance isn't his concern. He claims there is a hunter that wanders the area sometimes and that you should ask him. Translation. The hunter is a Twi'lek. He will be in the Eastern Dune Sea somewhere. I want information. Is that a good idea? Protocol. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You. Tell me the history. Translate. Translate. Oh, no, there's one storyteller. He says that he would. Okay. Why are they hostile? Translation. Translation. I'd like to have to ask. Just one more example. You have to. Translation. His people believe they are part of the land, living with it. You and your kind dare to raise yourself above it. You remove yourself. Translation, that act of removal makes you an outsider, separate from all that is important. You could never understand how unwelcome you are. What do you mean, raise myself above the land? Translation, translation. He says that outsiders use machines to convey them and to make their lives easier. This severs a connection with the land. Translation, connection to the soil must be made through flesh. A sacred animal is the only external tool to be used. Ask why he... Oh, wait. Is that a good idea? Transla Translation. He says that the use of these blasphemous things will only be tolerated because outsider interference has forced it upon them. Translation. If your kind had not come here, he would not have to defend their ways or their land. I don't want to ask that question. Protocol. Tell him farewell for now. Translation. <laughs> Translation, we are free to leave. So don't open any bins or anything. We can... It'll piss him off. Can I? All right, well, let's talk to him. Query, what... There. Transla Translation. He says that the robes are sacred, Master, and you would not understand. Sand people are never uncovered outside of the most private moments. Never, not even in death? Translation. Translation. Never. That is their way, Master. So I apologize for previously unwrapping his warriors. Protocol. Is that wise, Master? They may have assumed... No, tell him farewell. Translation. Trans <laughs> I won't tell him that. Just piss him off. Alright, so I can open doors and there's a storyteller. What's up, Twyla? I think this is where they are. Here is Griffy boy. Uh, you there. I'm, uh, I'm a high-ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. Uh, there's a big reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, don't you recognize me? It's Mission. Mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She, she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? 
Uh, well, I, there's the truth, and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Tarsus just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. Y you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years, after deserting me on Terrace? Well, that and, uh, could you please get me out of here? Well, what are you doing? You got a tough-looking friend there. Some people said you can go. On Anchorhead. Yeah, you can find your way from there, right? Can you manage that? What? Is there something else? Uh, well, I, I wanted to thank you. And, um, you look like you're doing well. Uh, financially, I mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits to get back on my feet? Fuck off. You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. Now what, Griff? You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? No. Huh. I, uh, guess you've been talking to Lena, too. That's okay. I'll figure out a way to get by without your credits. I always do. Besides, uh, I've already got a job lined up for me. Greta, the manager over at the Zerka supply shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, maybe there's something else I don't trust this guy as far as I can throw him. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me in Greta's shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. What a scumbag. I know it's not theirs, but I wonder if they'll let me search the skeletal corpse. It's a body. I don't think they care too much. And here's the Jawas. You were the ghost. You're not the ghostly giants. Have trapped these people. Sand. You're from the old city. New. I just must have sent you coming. Are you rescue? Must be. Some people said you can go. Wait. wait ask some questions. I'm looking for something in Star Map. Yeah, we already know about this. What do you mean by old city new? Okay, it's already stuff we know. You can go run an anchor. There are things you must have. The job is under Aziz will reward and trade. Find him, you'll see. Aziz will wait by the walls of your city. He'll open the sand. He'll trade fair. Thank you. All right. Well, I might as well go to the storyteller. Don't open the wicker bins. Do not do anything. It's they have some stuff, but it's nothing's really that worth it. Well, let's save and see if they actually see me steal from them. Hold on. <laughs> let's see if we're good. Yeah, we're good. I think it's just the baskets. Oh, same people female, right? Get out of the way. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Dude, the music started picking up. I'm like, bro. You're getting mad at me for looting the bed of fodder? What? Oh, man. Where's the storyteller at? I know he's around here somewhere. Where the hell's the storyteller? I know he's around here somewhere. Dude, uh, is he like gone? Oh, 
Oh, he's with the chieftain? Did I miss him? Did I just not look properly? I guess I didn't really look that well, did I? It's this dude, right? No. This dude? No. He's not with the chieftain. Oh, right, right. Okay. Well, let's bounce then. He's in the hallways. I don't think he's in the hallways. Why would he be in the he imagine just the storyteller wandering the halls? He looks different. I know he looks different. He's in one of these rooms. I know that. I think he's actually in this room on the left. But since he's not there, I don't really want to bring him a pearl. I want it for myself. Honestly, I don't need to know it that much. All right. Well, now that... Okay, sorry. I might ditch HK for a sec then. See a mission. I'll bring my Jedi's with me. I'm here. What is it? Yes. Yeah, I'd rather have it for the saber. Dewbacks were aggressive. I don't think they were. I think they were okay, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, like sauce. I love all the Kree dragons just taking a little nap. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this well, dragon Look at him, you can see him, be? he's huge. I'm going in. I love he's like, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, you can see him from far away, but he's just like, yeah, about it. Wait, I'm not gonna make another save just for that. Save files are like such a small amount, though. I thought I would see you out here, human. We are hunters, you and I. Perhaps we should cool our skills. I've tracked a very special beast to enslave a great dragon rest within, and tonight he is hunted, although by orthodox means. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. Hold on.
Sorry guys, I just realized I was just, I just kind of left him scratching his nose. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you preferred I thought you preferred the solo hunt. Mucho shock pakat. My apologies guys. Kiyeno no dama paole. This trip is a great critical fight. Oh, geez, I miss it. It's larger than the one my father failed a decade ago, and he is too far out of his territory. It must be dealt with. I might not prevail alone here, I must try. Jesus Christ, I'm Sorry guys, let's brew more of this. That's why it took so long. And I forget it. Alright, why should we kill this great beast? Oh. Not just like that means spans hundreds of years. There are complications must be understood. Kree dragons feed on banthas. The number of either species fall, the other grows too numerous and unbalances the cycle. Now settlers use banthas so there are less for dragons to eat. This one is moving close to Angerhead. Perhaps there will be more, but he is a threat tonight. The captain for Small Carlos because this game came out in 2003, and in order to adjust um, to adjust the resolutions, it makes the font that was normally smaller or bigger much smaller. Um, and this is just the way it is with adjusted mods. I can read them fine. That's why I'm like reading what I say out to you guys. You can still see it. You just kind of have to go full screen. Um, why do you want me and not another hunter? You are here, they are not. I also didn't know the size of the core of my quarry I was tracking until I was tracking it. Perhaps there are other reasons. I tried to get the help of one other, but you saw him die in the lair. He lacked experience and more importantly, patience. I usually have for the skill of it, but just make an exception today. I want newcomers to understand the proper content behind the hunt, no matter what methods we use. I'll help. Give me more information. We must bait the great beast out of hiding and ambush him swiftly. There is no room to engage him in the lair, as his hide will repel blaster fire. I have placed mines around the mouth of the cave. We must, coax him. we must coax him out, but this is the end of the set season for of hibernation. It will take much time to rouse him. The food of the beast decides all exclusively banthas and foolish hunters. If we are not careful to lure him out, we must lure his food to tempt him. How will we leave the banthas? They have, they too have their food of choice. We must find some bantha fodder to leave them here. I have a few ideas where this may be found. Some people keep bantha herds and some who have fodder on hand or in the settlement. A vendor named Cat also adds up to you have so. Find fodder and beat the banthas. The mines will deal with the cra with the dragon as it emerges to feed. Not exactly a glorious hunt, but it will ensure the safety of the region. So you don't actually have to do the the whole sand people thing. You can skip it if you want and just buy the bantha fodder from the merchant and bring it here. It seems easy. Why aren't you telling me? There's one added that the sand people regard bantha as a sacred attempt to defeat the herd in this area will likely lead to an attack. We are far from the weakened tribes around Ankara. The sand people of this region are strong, fierce, and will think nothing of killing you. Be careful. God damn it. They pose no threat to me. Yes, they did. Don't say that. I have your fodder. Good. Now here's a herd that moves out in the desert. Leave them here. Approach with the fodder and leave them here. I'll see what I can do. I hope for a mirror of my father's but this will have to wait. Okay. I totally forgot, because now it's going to be elite hunters. If I don't know if it's going to adjust it for these guys. It might just be certain scripted enemies. You know what I mean? It might, like, because this is a main story, they might just be like, okay. We're not going to, we're not going to, like, ruin it. But anyway, I gotta talk to these bandits. I think you have to. I think you have to fight three groups of sand people, if I'm not mistaken. All right, he's attracted to the smell of fodder. Heard falls and step. Hey! 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 <laughs> See how we do. <laughs> Go power attack now. Let's make yes. it I want to get that damn. You cannot win. Yes, 
see, these guys aren't that bad. They're not as bad anyway. See what I mean? It's just like those guys. Like th these guys, they're they're tougher. They have more damage. But we're actually fighting. Pretty good. Oh, he got the grapes. See what I mean, guys? We're doing good. I mean, Juhani almost got the sauce. Don't get me wrong. I'm here. I'm almost yes. better off giving Juhani a med. Like, let's see her health. Her health is pretty low. Treat in, but if you get good treat injury though, um, med packs will have much better improvement. Let's go. Junior one and Bobo. Achuta. Unga kunbistul. Achuta. Oh, there's only one group. That glitch has been in the game forever. You chuta, welcome, bombista. You know. Oh, that's not good. Quickly be ready. The Bengals are in position. Don't just throw out wrestlers for I hope they're fine to do their job. Don't worry, I'm ready. Wait, what was that rumbling sound? Oh boy, it's a big one. A drummed a pig head. He is a big motherfucker. I'm surprised the mines killed him. Meanwhile, we have like 40 mines, the same amount of mines take out one Sam people. Holy, holy guy, and we get absolutely spiced. Hey, Tom. We did it! It is done and the great piece is dead. To my shame, I denied him a final fight, but I'll honor his memory to make amends. I thank you for your aid, human. You have earned a share of the victory, such as it is. We had thanks, we did what had to be done. Regrettably so. I just hope you remember there were higher reasons for this. Don't let the spoils be your only reason to hunt. Wealth fades, the sands remain. I thank you for your help here today, human. I shall see you again, I'm sure. Alright, big guy. I think we get the crate dragon pearl from that. Items received. Why'd you go to his gooch? Yeah, one of these is Basil's dad, unfortunately. I think he's in the back. Jedi Master Robe. See, I don't like the Jedi Master robe. I don't like the way it looks. It's got better, you know, of everything. But it's better, so that's the stats. That won't change until we're, um, until we get the Keldroma robes on Korriban, I think. I'll give her blue, because blue's nicer. Sure. Jinnah want an Eni Bobo. <laughs> oh, really? No, not yet. He's not there. Lord Malak. <clears throat> Sorry. One. Two. Three. Opila is a good one, too. Sigil and Opila are solid, but we also have um, the Great Dragon Pearl. I think that's Papa Smurf over here. Ah. Holocron, there it is. How can I help? Do you want to talk? About my mother. <laughs> Meanwhile, the star maps in the back. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. Are you going to give the holocron to her? Do you think I should? I want to consider it. That would just lead to another argument. How I always despise talking to her. I'll think about it. I should try and remember my training. I should be able to let go of this, but I can't. It's I don't close want to, to talk about this anymore. Let's keep going. Um. Has been found in the desert, still intact. Basil's unsure, however, whether she intends to give it back. Remember, the Jedi are not supposed to have attachments like that. How may I be of a... 
Tell me more about your past. Well, I suppose I have, we have time. Not talked very much about <laughs> the Jedi. We're not doing anything important. They Just making Callow wait out there. We're so very invigorating. <laughs> Invigorating? They were so very alive. So full of hope and energy and zeal. In the retrospect, I can see it was a little bit tragic. Tragic? Well, yes. These Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians just after they had invaded. Many of those Jedi perished in the fighting, but to us, they seemed invincible. Especially their leader, who they talked about all the time. Paragons of light and justice sweeping away all iniquity before them. It was like looking at gods. I do look divine. They Jedi are not gods. I know! She says something like that. There's no way of getting it out of her. I know that. I was using poetic license. But those Jedi, they were enthralling. Everyone wanted Every, just to talk touch about Jedi, them. like all these Some adjectives. Some people thought it would bring them luck. Not that the peace they brought lasted very long. What happened? The Jedi left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wronged saw their chance at revenge. And so the cycle continues. The oppressed As become a new generation of oppressors. The human oppressed, that is. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. We felt the brunt of both administrations. Was it that bad? Of course it was. They took their frustrations and hate out on us because the people they wanted had already fled or were too well protected. But no one looks out for the injustices we suffered. Oh no, but... But I am sorry. I should not have outbursts like that. As long as you do not let your anger influence you. Don't you see? The very fact I mentioned it means it has its influence. Anger can lead to the dark side. And I must be ever careful that I do not fall back into those ways. I... Uh, I thank you for your support. My outburst was uncalled for. But you did not lash back at me. You are a much better Jedi than I, it would seem. But let us not speak more of this now. We should continue on our journey. Perhaps later we will talk again. I love how we had time to do how that. Be... But... Alright, let's get this star map, boy. We got the chewed corpse, yes? of years it has been here it still has tremendous power can you not feel it the star map is an artifact of the dark side the great dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power come we should leave this place there's nothing else for us here i mean i like looking at it. i think it's cool now i think he's there there's the boys Hard to kill Lord Malak. It would be so funny if he's like Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. I have to give you credit. You've led me on quite a chase, but nobody gets away from Kalo Nord in the end. You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Maybe we can work out a deal here. Sorry, I'm not in this for the credits. You're the only ones who've ever gotten away from me. I've got a rep to protect. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. Says the guy who needs like six goons to help out. What 
What happened to my grenades? Am I? Oh right, you gotta chuck them this way. Chuck them. They're all they're all ranged. Chuck it. Who else wants up the sauce? More dragons. Let's take it. Oh, he's down. Oh, he's down. He's down like dinner. Yes? Go for him. You will fall. I think he's mad at me because I didn't install more VPN. I think that's the real reason Cowl's attacking me. Wait. Wait, oh, I was about to level her up! Oh, come on, that's dude. <laughs> I was just attacking him seems to do pretty well. Oh, you... I'll hit him with this. Good damage. Are you Nord? I'm not gonna win. Man, fuck off with that. I would have see that's so annoying. <laughs> you know what's dumb about that is I would have got him no problem. I was gonna level up Juhani to give her her health back, but she she died before I could do it. Let's go, boys. Showtime. And that's what you get. Next time, use a VPN. I'm Callow Nord, CEO of Nord VPN. I almost had his fucking ass. I have to. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna use that. I don't want the melee. I need like an energy shield. Uh. All right, I forgot I have his armband. Let's switch it up to an energy shield. I'm here. What is it? What? I'm gonna do a adhesive grenade. Or I'm just gonna glitch out and never do it. Toby! So be it! <laughs> I'm stuck! Oh, what a waste. Of course you see it. Oh, he's dead. See what I mean? It was a completely different ball game. 2,000 credits, thermal detonators, obviously, nerve amplifier belt, retinal combat, Kalanoid's armor, advanced biostabilizer, he has some good shit. He's gotta be smarter is all. Alright, let's level these cats up. You guys need to catch up with me. They're just gonna keep going with wisdom, right? I think you need 14 to get an attack modifier. Wisdom's great for force powers. Um, yeah, her intelligence isn't going to help her much. Her dexterity is really high. I think I'll, I'll go with the wisdom boost. Makes sense for a Jedi. Um, and then we just stick with these two. We got it. Honestly, what's it going to recommend? Advanced Jedi defense? A plus three. I gotta give her. I gotta give her something better than just the basic flurry. She's never been able to take people down. Give her heal. I can't believe she doesn't have it yet. So, Juhani's gonna get the same treatment, assuming that she's yeah. She gets the full fledge. It's gonna recommend damage, strength for her. I would rather trade. I'd rather roll Bastila and Jolie because they have all three types of Jedi in one. You know, Consular, um, 
Sentinel and Guardian. Master Force Jump. Good. I might just give her a Master Critical. Let me, let me recommend. Weapon. I mean, that's something I think she should get. But I'll give her Master Crits, and then I'll go with that. And I'm going to give her Cure, too. Although Destroy Droid is so money, I eventually want it. But I'm not getting that many attacks. Give her Strength Gauntlets, man. That's going to just help even more. But her, hers isn't upgraded. What? I got to... I think I'm basically done here, fam. I don't think I need to take the long way back. Let's take a look at our mission. Yes. What is the button? I always forget. N G L L. Take the L. Uh, so Basila. That one's specific though for her. Karth. Left out of the loop. Normally we'll talk. We'll talk with him more. Star Forge working on that. Jihani. Basil's mom. Gizka. Fair. What's this one? Right, so we got basically just got to tag in some folks. I might ditch Juhani and switch in mission so I can really just get these. Right. Again, I can go ahead and take the... Um... Oh, really? They're not going to let me go. I guess I'll just keep going then. I've already done that, Rich. I've got HK with with me already. That's how I solved the sand people dispute. I can't remember where this one goes. Is this one the regular? Yeah, because this one will bring us. Oh yeah, see, we don't want to do that. We want to okay. We want to skip the line. See, there is a mod for changing the Keldroma robes. Um, and it's like it's basically it looks the same as this, but it's more orange. The robes are more orange. I think what they should have done. And then there's another mod I've installed. Like I said, I didn't install that one. I installed installed the uh, true to form or the um, canon canonically correct. Uh, Keldroma robe, so it's got some reds and things like in it, and so I think it'll look pretty cool. Um, however, the Jedi Master robe, there's no mod for it. It would make more sense if they had taken the... Oh, you can stay there. It would make sense if they had taken the... You shall fall. Is it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> Look at that Air Jordan hang time, bro. Holy hell. Oh, these guys are getting spiced now. Look at the difference. Dude, see, we just needed a level up, I think, honestly. And I can still, I, I wonder if I can still sell the Gaffy. I don't think these guys have the Gaffy stick. Oh, you want some? These guys want some. Now, now that I got my, you know, my dick out and I actually have something worth showing, I am going to... Just drop the hammer. What is it? What can I do? You can all use heal what? now. Your wish? What can I do? What? But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I wish they had taken the that changed color Keldroma robes and switched it up with this. Like I said, it makes it look a little more orange. And I don't know if you guys know this, but orange, browns, uh, beiges, mainly browns, like kind of orangey browns, cinnamon colors, all that kind of spectrum look fucking great with blue. It's like having a blue suit and brown pants. Oh, we're gonna have a conversation. They're scripted to attack me, but they're not going to. Hi. How are you? Oh, all right. Sorry, I don't have HK here. Let me do my best. <laughs> Which, of course, in sand people means... Hi. <laughs> All that just to say hi. 
<laughs> Down with the sickness. <laughs> oh, Twilight, you're such a clout whore right now. Goodbye. Looking for any sort of attention. So cringe. Why are people cringe like that, man? It's like, I don't get hugged enough by my mom and dad, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw negative attention to myself in hopes that they will, someone will at least see me. Well, there you go, I saw you. And I'll never see you again. <laughs> you're bad, you're bad. Spells your butt wrong. That's my, my favorite, like I said, my favorite insult anybody's ever given me is you're stupid. With Y, spelt Y-O-U-R. That's my favorite insult. Actually, Shell, I can blame them because if that's all they want, all they have to do is say what's up and hang out with us and they'll get love. So, no, I, I do blame them. Hi, I'm new here. Hi, Twilight. How's it going? Starts talking shit from then on out. That makes sense. Anyway, uh, ooh, um, okay, I'm gonna modify, I'm gonna go ahead and ditch Juhani for a moment. Oh, sorry, I can never tell. And bring Mission back in? She might be actually be able to level up. I'm yes. here. What? Missionis. Let me guess, more dexterity? Man, her dexterity is insane. I mean, but the thing is, there's nothing else really you can do to her. I mean, hold on, let's ditch this. Her intelligence is pretty, it's decent, but obviously she's got to go on saving throws. But at a certain point, there must be a number. But like I said, it's got the plus four modifier on top of it. So her dexterity is really high. I might actually bump the constitution because her health is so low. So each level up, she'll get something better. Master Scoundrel's luck. So more saving throws action. Yeah, Basil's got, um, Burst of Speed. Sure. And I've been forgetting about it, if I'm honest. Oh, wait, I walked by the Cantina. <laughs> oldest really... Actually, that's an interesting question. The oldest Star Wars game I think I played for the channel would have been... Dark Forces, I think. I think that game came out in 97. No, 90, no, that's not right. 96, 95, 96. It was basically a modified, it was modified off of the Doom engine, the original Doom engine. So people think Doom was the first first person shooter. That's not, the, that's not true. Um, the actual first one was Castle Wolfenstein. That was the first game and then Doom came out after it. Common misconception. Back already. Have you even looked for the Holocron yet? I have the Holocron, Mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've yep. never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No. I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now, for both our benefit. Maybe you should listen to what she has to say. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything you say, Mother. Maybe one of you should be the first to give up, give the other a break. You're right. It shames me, but I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. Your father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. Treasure hunting is a dangerous occupation. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led. Always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the Order. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? 
Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially not someone as gifted as you, your father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatment. That's why he went for the pearls. I begged him not to, but your treatments... I'm dying, Bastila. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming. And there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I yes, told this is Dr. Darkless. He has his good ear. But you know how he was. Stubborn. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Bastila. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked too. Oh, Mary. You said you had important business. And you were never one to mince words. You there. You take care of my daughter, you hear me? I'll do my best. <laughs> That's good. I'll feel a lot better knowing there's someone to watch. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. It's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after... after what I have to do. But I already told you there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again when we can talk. <sighs> all right, I will. You do what you have to, Rastala. You go make your father and I proud. I'll try. Farewell, Mother. All right, that ended very well. Let's have a quick word with Bass. How can I help? So do you feel better now? Yes. That brought me a lot of peace. More than I thought it would have. Thank you for urging me toward it. Doesn't Griff After actually have a mission training, for me? I thought it would have been easier. I'm not sure. Apparently, I still have much to learn. Is there anything else to say to her? How can I help? You look like you have something to say. I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but... I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... I'm glad you're with us. Is that a compliment from you? Well, yes. Surely that's not so surprising. It's just that you sounded so pained saying it. Did I? I am trying to be sincere here. It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you. Too demanding at times. Thank you, I appreciate the gesture. I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. Nonsense. That's kind of you to say, but I know for myself it's not really true. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself who are most in need the of the tech tech plan, right. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect. You don't get any you. dark side points. I for have that. to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. Mm -hmm. We could be more than friends, Bastila. Please, it's it's not allowed. I have to remain true to the Jedi ideal. If this is going to cause a problem, maybe I maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I'm glad you did. I care for you too, Basila. Well, that was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel I feel much better. But enough soul searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. All right. Anything else to say? So we've set the stage we need. Hey there. Look, I'm happy Griff's alive, but I'm mad at him right now. And I don't know what kind of job he's got for you, but I don't trust him. It's probably just another scam. So, is there anything else you need? I always heard Tatooine. Sorry. Oh, yeah. oh. Is there anything? Oh, hey let's there. see if she adds anything else. Look. So yeah. See, her, her, she's basically at the pinnacle. And you have to do missions for him. So I'll have to end up going to Kashyyyk. Doing that tack murder. But tack, like I said, I don't think you get dark side for killing tacks. I really don't. They're adorable little monkey-like creatures. I don't know why you'd want to, but you gotta get the gland, which is right up their butthole. You know, that's where the gland is. You know, it's up, up your ass to the left. Literally, it's up their ass to the left. <clears throat> 
Sometimes on the right. Oh, this guy. This is for the Geo Harda Dan, right? For the interest, you know, my name is Sinny Vec. I believe you dropped this data pad. There must be some mistake. Oh, no, no mistake. Data is yours, yours, mom. Please take it. Uh, thanks. Pleasure, you should examine it. It's just not broken. Goodbye. The, the Geo Harda Dan's are dark side, so I'm almost debating on not, but I think I might just do it and just be like. You know, it's my true self kind of creeping back, but I'm gonna stuff it down. Stuff it right back down. You gotta put it, put it, push it down. You know what I mean? <laughs> Greetings again from the offices of. I have gaffies. I see that, but. Yes, here it is. I'll be back later. Hold on. I actually want to see it. Hold on. Uh, I can't remember if it's. It's. I think it's good, but it's not like. Switch from a lightsaber. Good. Can you imagine a gaffy stick run? That'd be hilarious. It's only a 1 to 8, but it gives you a damage bonus of 4. So you can hold on to it. You can either sell it or hold on to it. 1 to 8. I'm just trying to remember. How long do I have? I don't remember. No. How long do I have? Sorry, guys. Remind me. When you get captured via the Leviathan, is it after your third planet? So, like, if I were to do Kashyyyk, this, Kashyyyk, then Manon, and then don't you get picked up once you get Manon? And then, you know, there's some shit there. If I remember correctly. Okay, that's what I thought. And then you continue. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to Leviathan... Do Leviathan in a stream, and then after that, do some running around. So I'm going to sort Leviathan, and then maybe some running around, some, like, before I hit up Korriban. You know, go from planet to planet and just finish up some of the missions. Assuming it won't take, we'll see. I Basically, I want to kind of judge it based on how long it's taking me on Manon. Manon is a bit of a longer planet, so I think I might, after Manon, I won't do Leviathan. I'll split it at Leviathan, and then, yeah, we'll call it there. That's probably what I'll do. And then Leviathan... I'm sorry, I'm just planning the future. Anyway, I, I mean, this thing is cool, but I'm never going to end up using it, so I might as well sell it. Greetings. Yes, here it is. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. For a bit more, I can maintain my vigilance in the future. I think you'll find that the root... I'm sure. Five and a crown. Hold on. Let's load this. Fifteen, sixteen. I hope this isn't... Oh, shit. I didn't really... I should have saved first. It better have saved when I got... Damn it. All right. It's not that far, I guess. This is where I was talking about tack lands. Actually, Manon was my favorite planet, actually. Personally, I love the atmosphere of it. And it's got some cool side missions, especially going underwater there in the submersible. Screaming their fishy little war cries. You cool, cool. Food for fishing. Not me. Done. Uh, you know. Manon was litty. But yeah, I would usually do Manon last as well. I'd go to Corbin first, and then Manon. But I think it makes more sense story-wise, to go to Korriban last, in my opinion. Greetings again. Well, I think... I think you... Lady, are we gonna do this dance all the time? Greetings again. Well, I think... I think you'll find... It was. I'm. Wow, is it even possible? I told her I'd bury her, and she's like, "Yeah, fuck that." I don't think it's possible. Terrace is awesome. I love Terrace as, as, as a as a planet. You basically have a chance. It's just the same reason why I like um, Paragus in Kotor Two is one of my favorite levels too, because. You're, you're discovering new weapons, and you get to use weapons normally you wouldn't use. Obviously, you're going to use a lightsaber. Once you get a lightsaber, you're going to use that for the rest of the game, basically, right? So, you got to remember that. Uh, I, 
It would be valuable to have oh, I got it. if the sand people made another incursion. <laughs> I think you're right. Let's yes. go. Here's an additional reward. Let's Once go. Again, Circa Corporation, I didn't think thanks. I was going to be my last one. I was going to give up. Set 200 extra credits. I was literally going to give up after that one. That was going to be my last one. That is so funny. <laughs> ah, just the person I was hoping to see. Hmm. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. Okay, sis, I see you still, man. Fair enough. I don't think you could help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. When do I do? I can't remember. In this game, do you have to audit? Do you have to purchase Force Persuade as an option? Or was that Kotor 2? What's the job? As you may know, tack glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian L. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian L has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. So you want to open a bar? I know this guy. He's with the exchange. Now, this if sounds I give him a small like a sample of Teresian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch. And now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. We can't waste time on this. Please, you have to help me. I, I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Teresian ale. If I don't come through for him, he's gonna break my legs. Or worse. Quite on. Yeah, you're definitely right, Wendigo. He is very much a grifter. And I gotta say, he's not being very tactful with his uh, request. To say the least. <laughs> yeah, I knew you'd I mean, come through for me. Stop. We you won't regret him. this. You'll see. Uh, just, just don't take too long, okay? This guy from the exchange could stop by any day. I kind of told him I already had the stuff, so if he shows up and I'm empty-handed, well, let's just say I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. You're back. Do you have the tack? I love when they say that, and they're just like, I didn't move, so why would I have had it? Gee, we, I... Right, this guy just said some shit. There's no point in talking to him. Okay, um, was there? Let's just take a look at our. I always do that. It's L, right? Yeah. Uh, missions, brother. So that's that's a mission we're gonna have to put on hold. The trouble with Giska, I don't know. Oh, I gotta go to Aziz. I forgot about him. Oh, yeah, that makes sense because you're under a bit of a time limit. You of your kind, thank you for what was done. You might return because of you. This was agreed. Taking to be welcome. I should ask for more. There's a little more. You know the rescue is worth more. Damn it! Alright. I hate my persuade is so low. So low. I don't know. What did he give me? Uh. I gotta look at these crystals, dog. For some reason, the crate dragon pearl is like at the bottom of the barrel. Like, for some reason, it's like all the way down here. Like, all the way down here. I don't know why. Oh, I gotta go back there and sell my shit. I almost forgot about that. I think you could sell hers as well. I didn't see my crate Dragon Pearl. I maybe went by it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he gave me, but... <laughs> hey, what else? Karth, Dino Hard, Dino Haradan. Come on, Man yeah. That's 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 when we get to Manon. 
I mean, I'm not having Manon of it, honestly. I'm having Manon of it right now. And then the Star Forge is the main quest, obviously. Juhani, Mr. Brother, that's gonna be put on hold until we get to Kashyyyk. Bastila. Trouble with Gizzies. I don't know, that mission might never be finished because you don't, you can just leave them if you want. Uh, which DLC is that, Tyler? Like, is it story or is it just like a... I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I do. I know that. I know I can give the Great Dragon to the Sand People, but literally, information is never worth more than a modified lightsaber. I don't care which person you are. Did I do it again? Gizka Bass. Oh, right, that's what I was doing. I'm going to the hunting lodge. Remember that big fight in the dunes? You the talk to the lost, kill the dragon. How about that? There's something to sell you. That's the biggest desert rape play I've seen this season. Whoever uh, got a skill hunter. I've got a, I'll give a premium on that price. I have a buyer that put in a special request. It's 500 sound fair. So that was hers. Like, I bought it from her and I'm getting my money back. I think she charged 500 cred, so I got my money back for it. Is there anything else? I have a raid plate. Bread and butter of the hunter. I'll take whatever you have on your hands for a fair price. Huh? Oh, you gotta show sell list and you gotta find the raid raid plates. I thought they put them like and none of it's in order. Like you think it'd be alphabetical, but there. Desert raid. How many of these? We have eight. They're worth they're worth Right, okay. They're not as, they're not worth as much as I thought. Craig Dragon, he's only gonna get it for 625. It's just like, no, I don't need 625 credits. Like You know what I mean? Like Everyone's gone. That's the Pazak player. Is there any Doric? I heard what you did out on the dunes. I'm impressed. I'd never have thought a tenderfoot like you could bring down. Oh, the right, right, right. I remember that. That is right. Yeah, the Manon I gotta give. That, that's the light side way of dealing with the Gizka. See you around. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. I didn't even think of that. 1520. God damn it. So, don't e so I didn't know I could sell that to him. But do I think I have to sell him the raid plate, though. Correct? Wait, oh wait, hold on. Oh Jesus, do I have to go back? No. Okay, yeah, I, I must have. Yeah. Hey, box. So I'll just sell him the big one. All right, well then, maybe I wonder if we should take a trip up there and just sell shit really quick. I don't know. We still got to talk to people. We got to hear stories for Candyman. I mean, I can always make a trip back, right? Let me just confirm. Karth. Quest for the Star Forge. Juhani. Missions Broski. Bastila. Trouble with the Gizzies. Fair tr Oh, I do have to go back. Damn it. All right. What can I do? I forgot. Okay. I didn't sell the racing bonds. I'm keeping it all because if you go to Yavin, everything is worth more on Yavin. So I'm going to go to Yavin to sell everything. No, I don't I don't need to watch another YouTuber <laughs> for KOTOR. I played this game so many times, but... Yeah, I might dip to Yavin. Because he's got some shit. He literally, all you, it's just a merchant. That's literally all that's there. Oh, let me just double check. 
Karth. Okay, I'm just sorry. I'm just being triply sure that I dropped everything off. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Oh, for the love, that's the downside about using this. It takes your squad a little bit longer to get there. Yeah. What? Look how far away they are, man. It's just pointless. She's still watch. She'll end up start moving. Right there she is. Look at her doing a little stutter step. <laughs> Just look at her twinkle toe in it. Nice moves, Basila. I love how that never got fixed. What's up, Leah? How's it going? I can't remember. Do you have something that I can buy? That might help me. Uh, I think just the Gizka poison, you just kill them, but it's just pointless. It's like, I'd rather do a non-lethal way. What was new? This one. Mind affecting and poison. It's great for mind affecting, because don't you, like, never... Isn't mind effect, like, isn't that, like, like, you never... Is it, would you say it's better than the Verpine headband? Because I remember, like, if you do, like, you'll never get dizzy and you'll never get poisoned this way. And you have saved for everything plus one. So I think that may, I think that's worth more. I'm going to hold on to that. Yeah, stuns. Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant, stuns. Fuck off. I was hoping we'd have a stream um, where I didn't have to put on sub-only mode, but never is the case. These bots are out of fucking control. That was our first bot attack. Given the fact that it's been four and a half hours and that's our first bot attack, that's not bad. Okay. I'm gonna go make some mods. My sabers de demand it. So I have a sigil and a rubat. Both are solid. I think rubat has attack and damage. Damond was good. It's attack three. And opilla was good. It's got, But it's got huge criticals and damage. So I'm, it, I lose that extra attack, but I'm gonna... Well, there's also the crate dragon, which does three attack bonus and two... Let's compare it over here to Sigil, which I think is just an attack bonus and damage bonus one per six. Is Opila technically better? Attack bonus, damage bonus. I wonder if I should, yeah, I think what I might do is put Opila here on six to 20, four to 23. So it gets you a higher low end. Let's see what the Opila and the Crate Dragon Pearl. Seven to 21, we switch it out with Sigil. Five to 24. So Sigil has a higher increase, but it's, you know, attack modifier. Let's trade this out with uh, Opila. Still, it's plus three. So I think, wait, what do I have? Sorry, Crate Dragon. And I, I got to figure out what I want my main to be. I'm, it's either Opila or Sigil. Yeah, we heard about that, Mark. It's the talk of the stream. And then these two are probably going to be the ones I put in my offhand anyway. So it's well, uh no they're not actually. That's not true. Um just trying to think what I'd prefer. Seven to twenty one, Opila. Five to twenty four. I think I think I think Opila's gonna be better because it gives us the criticals. The big criticals. So I'm, I think I'm gonna rep seven twenty one. And then my secondary saver, take out Bondar and probably put on because what are we at? 317 with this. This will bring it up to a 423. And Rubat is good, but I wonder if I should go with Damond. This will give us just three attack. We'll lose a damage, so if I, I'll probably, it'll probably go down like three to 22. But our attack bonus is gonna go up, plus four. So if I don't have that, let's just say Rubat. Yeah, see, our attack bonus goes up. So I think I'd rather have the guarantee. I'm gonna go Damond with this. It's probably what we're, let's see what Sigil we switch with Rubat. Not a good idea. Sigil's a solid one. So now 322, 721. That's funny because it's got a thing is it's got this one has a lower high end, but it's got a, a higher low end as well. But it also has massive criticals and attack modifier of three, whereas this one has four, which makes sense because it's my offhand saber. 
So, anyways, uh, let's go with uh, Bastila now. She can have the Rubat, and she can have the Bondar. Considering that's all we have. Either way, the best of the best is all equipped anyways, so... Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, what about the ranged? No mods for him, hey? I'm actually kind of surprised. How about the melees? Prototype V-Blade. I think missions is maxed out, too. Yeah. Armors. Maxed out. Callow Nord's battle armor. I forgot. Shit's good. It's got... It's good defense bonus, but its dexterity is lower than the girlfriend's standard. So, really, I just gotta figure out... Let's take away... Because Karth... Hold on. Karth cannot have... Look at the defense of that. 12 for Callow's. And then it's critical hits and mind affecting. I mean, it because it ups it by well, that one brings it up by two. Crazy. Anyway, okay, I think that's good for that, and then everything was good. Good. All right, my savers are gonna do some little bit. The thing is though, in Kotor one, they were heavily reduced. You know, you were just at the whim of stuff. And there's only so much you could do with your savers. All right, Candy Man, I gotta put my favorite with Yeah, what do you want? Why don't you add more war stories? I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand Hundreds. worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. What was there, your story? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. I didn't think Mandalorians were afraid. Got afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. You dropped from orbit riding a droid? The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. That was some fight. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is no. there something else you want to know? Tatooine is one big desert with rocks. I already to asked the about this. There are, you have I thought he had more shit. Your... Yeah, what are you? Have you seen all these Gizka? So deal with it. Why are you asking me about it? I don't know, because yeah, I thought you got shit done. Do you anything about this world? Tatooine. Oh, sorry, there are, what am I doing? Have, I thought there was your, more. Or I thought I was able to ask him more. Okay. Well, let's attempt to talk to HK. Statement. HK 47. We need a high repair serve, for master. this, unfortunately. So, I know about your functionality. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master. Mockery. But not all. Am I alright? Oh. I thought you said that removing your restraining bolt was sorry, memory. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. So you lied to me. Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assumed the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. 
That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. Right, master? Yeah, Mac, I'm on PC, bro. How can you not know parts of your functionality? You can see the mouse. The mouse gives it away. Answer. There have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence. <laughs> or something else I am unaware of. Got all of the meatbags. Is there any way to repair you? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, I think I can... Master, I'm not sure if I can But anything use... in relation to my memory core is extremely Someone else sensitive. to do it? I have safeguards it. installed to protect that core that I cannot I know deactivate. that. I'm aware. It it's not, not my first rodeo. People... Lesser memory functions could be restored, however. I love how people speak to me like this is my first time playing this game. <laughs> Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. So you're saying that your memory can might just come back? Conjecture. Which there it may does. be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master, but there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. So I'll go about restoring part of it. Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. I don't think I can do it. Tell me what you can, then. Observation. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meatbag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. An assassin. Caution. Shh, Master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. Uh, I won't tell anyone. Commentary. Good, for I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. My assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated by the meatbag, <laughs> Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Yeah, Rich, this game is kind of how, like, um, this game is kind of, like, how a lot of my viewership, like, found me back in the day. I, this is my, I've played the, I've played these games, like, I think each one a piece, like, 70 times each, I think, full runs, various combinations. And then I've done three KOTOR 2, and this will be my, this is my fourth KOTOR 1, just let's play for the channel. <laughs> Very no, but even then, it's funny... If I hadn't played this game, you should. That would be a spoiler, right? At the same time. So. <laughs> oh man. Oh, box. Thanks for joining the membership program. I don't know why you didn't get a notification though for you. That's weird. I just noticed it in chat there. That's weird. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Uh, let's see. So, any way to receive that function? Answer. Not that I know of, Master. I still possess all my normal combat and stealth abilities, however. Is there any way to repair you? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Answer. You may attempt the deeper Sorry. function conjecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm asking K. Okay. So I gotta... Conjecture. It is... I like to try. Affirmative. I might be able to do it early. Request. I only ask. Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing. I might my just go out with him cluster. and. Uh... This may take a while. First, I think it works if you use your friends. Panels. But I've closed the last panel. Hmm. I am afraid the operation did not succeed, Master. Though it was a valiant attempt for a meat bag. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, me. I mean, Master. <laughs> this seems to be going nowhere. Alright. Okay, so. Statement. Is there anything about this Gizka? Statement. I have little knowledge of that to impart, Master. Statement. 
You don't have to call me master. Query. Don't I? I was under the assumption that organic meat bags such as yourself enjoy <laughs> such forms of address. I love that. Organic meat bags? Retraction. Did I say that out loud? I apologize, master. While you are a meat bag, I suppose I should not call you such. <laughs> Just call me meat bag again. Explanation. It's just that you have all these squishy parts, master, and all that water. How the constant sloshing doesn't drive you mad, I have no idea. <laughs> Neither do I come to think of it. Statement. Now do you understand the travails of my existence, master? Surely it does not compare to your existence, but still. I survive somehow. Commentary. As do I. It is our lot in life, I suppose, Master. Shall we find something to kill to cheer ourselves up? Sounds good, big player. All right, I'm actually going to attempt it. I'm going to go outside with uh, Zalbs, because Zalbs has a, a decent repair, I think. I think I was... Oh, well, I got to gotta bring him as well. Actually, his repair is kind of low. Wait, who had the repair? It wasn't Zalbar. I can't remember who it was. It might be, it might have, no, who, who was it? It might have been T3. I thought it was, I thought it was Zalbar for some reason. I mean, he has one, but I swear T3's was different. Unless it was Mission. It could be Mission. Let's bring Mission out too. We'll just see. Yeah. Sure. His repair is at a 12, so, I mean, it could be just T3. I, I mean, I thought it was more than that, but... This one doesn't matter. We can just pick what we want. Master Gearhead, there you go. Attribute. Strength means no sense here. Battle Droid Logic. Prove Caution. Actually, I'm going to go with the... I think toughness makes more sense, doesn't it? I swear it was someone else, though. I swear someone else was going for the... Let me just look at mission stats. Um... No, her repair is actually kind of low. I wonder who I was thinking of. I swear it, was, it wasn't T3. It was someone else who had a good repair. Maybe it was Zalbar. Cause it just it kept i remember i was like checking the auto and it would keep auto giving it to like that stat point all right whatever let's just bring out t3 Ready. okay and then we sh i think we speak to him through uh oh it was himself it was himself <laughs> It was himself. I was like, who has a really high repair? Because ever I kept it kept adding it to that. Oh, that's fucking funny. Can't you just fix yourself? <laughs> oh, that's good. I love that. Hey. Yes? You're probably right, but I still want to try. I think I remember that. Now. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I just wanted to... It has to be me. Ready. Sure. I, and the thing is, I think the only way you can get it is if you're a consular. Really, because that's a main class. Or not even a consular, but a scoundrel or whatever. I always mix them up. Anyway, so I will never be able to restore his memory prematurely. You get massive uh, points for it, but... <laughs> Grenade. Uh, help me with a problem. Da -da -da. Let's see if... Bug nuts. How may I be of assistance Ow. to you, Padawan? Wondering if we could talk? What is it you would like to... What are you thinking about? 
I have been thinking much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine, I remained alone. Not ostracized exactly, but separate. Tell me about your people. In truth, I have lived in the Republic You gotta get her to open up. And I know little. I never met any others of my race other than my parents. But we are not diplomats. We do not deal well with groups. This situation is new to me. Yeah, I've done it, it is, one time. It is not wrong. one time, that's not true. I feel almost welcome. Needed. I did it a you few times, but I would rarely, I would usually choose the Guardian class or Sentinel. Consular was fine, but... It had such low feats. You basically had to pick one. But you had so many force powers, so it was insane. So that's why I said it was always fun to do Consular as a dark side run, because you had so many... The Sith, for, like, dark side force points are almost... Or, sorry, force powers are almost always on attack. <laughs> why is that option one? I can count on something. It's only because I haven't found out how to ditch you yet. It's nice that you hold me in such... No, we're all in this together. Yes. And that is my point. I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I'm used to. Just thank you for accepting me. No problem. How may I be? Is there anything I could ask her about? I do not know how. Useless. How may I? Tatooine is a filthy desert. Planets such as this should not be fit for life at all. My skin itches just to be here. As you can Says see, the girl from Terrace. It is a desert. Why is she such a hater of sand. people? This so sort hypocritical. of place attracts too much of the seedier side of civilization. As to the particulars of this world itself, I can safely say it holds no interest for me. And I will be well pleased when we leave here and never return. Now is there some... How Jesus may I be... Jesus Christ. God. I'd rather talk to, like, a butthole. <laughs> Alright, I'm just debating on speaking with cars. He's like, left out of the loop. I don't think I don't think I think we're pretty much caught up with bass. Oh not yet. Curious about something? Am I so transparent? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised considering our bond. Yes. There is something I would like to ask if you'll permit it. Go ahead. In our time together I've been watching you. You are a true servant of the light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi <laughs> Order despite the lure of the dark side. And with so little training, for me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? I just do what I think is right. And that's enough for you. <laughs> if only it were as easy for me. If only the right path was always clear. I mean, who goes to the dark side, you know? I can imagine if he I've said that. I've always been too quick to anger. Who even too takes smoke over to the dark side? Who would have done that? Just constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused, and I, I get so furious. <sighs> Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. Are you saying you don't believe in the corruption of the dark side? I don't know. Would the power I use to kill Darth Malak be too tempting to keep using? Would I become the kind of evil I want to destroy? The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. Oh, I we shouldn't shall see. even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? What? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Just keep, they keep yes. hinting. If you they know how it ends this. up, let's just return to our mission. If you, you understand how it ends up, you can you just see all the nods. I guess on first the first play, you're like, huh? You might like be like, well, why why did they how say that? Like that? You know, you might not even or you might not even notice it. I wish I could. I love that they don't even like they don't even say bye. Like, wish I could help. You really don't wish you could help, do you, Bass? So I'm gonna go to the Mushishakapaka in the back, and we'll finish that mission up yes, too. Yes, what's on your mind? We didn't went on a discussion pretty well. I um, I'm not very good at this. I don't want to talk. I know about I owe you an right apology. Now, let's go. Uh, 
More than one, probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle Over Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these... Cartho nasty is alive. I know this mission is important, it's just... I, I feel a bit useless. I, I mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. And how does that excuse your actions? It doesn't, I know. I, it's been a while since I've even had to think about that sort of thing. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this... Helpless. Yeah, I, you use that I weird have taken foreign that expression. I've been a royal pain in the back. Out of the I? loop? Never heard of it. <laughs> At all. Don't worry about it, Karth. I love how the top one, they throw you... They're like, are you really paying attention to what you're saying? Because usually light side is on top, dark side's down low. They flipped it. You don't worry about it, Karth. No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm no, sorry. No, I haven't dealt with this way yet. Will you accept my apology? Yes. Done. Let's get underway then, shall we, partner? Okay, is there anything else to yes, ask? Carthone masks produced? Tatooine's just a death. That's all. I'm not really sure. You can figure that out on your own, can't you? No one's willing to help me. What a bunch of sons of bitches. Alright, I think that's everybody in my party for now. I think I'm just gonna go listen for footsteps. I think the food store seems to be disturbed. No the party we're done. This must be another explanation. There are no half eaten there are no half eaten or torn packages, indicated theft. It looks more like some unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids. Clandestine raids on your stores. Whoever the thief is, they have managed to avoid detection by you or your companions so far. Maybe a thorough search of the ship will reveal. Yes, we had to activate that. Muchashaka Paka. Chambon Banin Manuk. Ging bang gong dum deck. Buddha, not a maki chew. Bing bang 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 bang. That's what she sounds like. You guys know exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> You know exactly what is going down. Muchakapaka. Hey, what am what am I doing? When she gets all worked up, you know, you know the line of dialogue, right? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> She'll do it. This little Muchakapaka. Bonanakichu. Bonanakichu. Hey! What are you doing here? Selima Wanga Kunbi King. That one. Selina Nora Wanga Kunbi King. Uh, calm down. I won't hurt you. Muchashaka Paka. There's the Muchashaka Paka. Everyone knows that one. Well, I don't understand any. Oh. All right, let's try and communicate with this chick. It's so funny because it sounds like she's speaking a Twi'lek language, but she's Mandalorian, I believe. Muchashaka Paka. Can you tell me your name? Girl looks at you. Point yourself. My name? Tenth anniversary. Muchashaka Paka. Do you know a toy like by the name of Lur Akasalas? Huh? Uh, Sasha. Muchashaka Paka. My name is Sasha. <laughs> Infinite light side point. Kick her out. Just kidding. Uh, alright, try to learn the language. No, don't take. Bing, ding, 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 ding. S1? S1? S2? How many do you want? S1, S2. Me, S1. I see you or you see me? Me, not S1. Oh, you're hiding. S1 is high. Uh, I didn't get all that, but sure. <laughs> Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Abst. A abs Doesn't that mean hurt? Mandalorian. That's your word for Mandalorian. Selima Wanga Kunbikin. Hide from Mandalorian. They hurt me, basically. So you hid from Mandalorians or are hiding. Uh, try to learn a language. Bristag. Bristag. Bristag me Leifsta. The ship is her home. Bristag is ship. Leifsta is her home, I think. Swooshing. Oh, Bristag. Starship. Bristag. 
Left side, everything is safe? No. Who's panels? Left side, the panel, that's where left side means? You sleep there? Sleep? Kipuna. Uh, the panel, your home means home. Kipuna. Yes. Bona na kichu. It's funny, it's her home, but you've only just got here, bitch. You can't just, like, take up residence and start squatting in my ship and just assume that you can just live here forever. You're hiding in the starship to your home, I understand. Mucho shakapanga. You said that before. What is gone to sin? Mucho shakapanga. Gone is what? And then she's just like, gone is nuts. <laughs> Something about me, yes, but what? Don't abu Girl smiles your chest. Gone to sin. You, yes, gone distant means you like it. Oh, good. Mucho shakapanga. You be gone distant. You like me, I understand. Selima wanga You're not gonna like me later. Na abs. That's what you said. Kipuna. Girl slaps Bona your leg. Kichu. Hit. No, hurt. Yes, very bad. Stop that. Kipuna. Bona na no kichu. dumbass. Hurt means hurt. Donki yes. Ba non... I understand. No, I won't Donki hurt you. Kaswan yam niggis. Yum, what kind of food word is that? What do you mean what kind of that means yum yum? It's like the guy with the corn. <laughs> Grab another one. You know what I mean? Dong abu shami no no. Yum, me aunt my aunt is Kestawan Yum. It's part of a ship, a room? Mucha shakapanga. She's chewing. Oh, food. Duh. Yum, yum. You never heard it? This guy doesn't know. Left out of the loop. He doesn't know what yum means. How the hell was he a Sith Lord? I mean, um, <clears throat> uh, a, 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 simp a simple hoarder. Yeah, I know. He was a simple hoarder, man. Look at all this shit running around. You know what I mean? Fucking idiot. Never heard of that. You're just a simple hoarder. He doesn't, he, he's left. He's been like living under a rock, or in this case, a panel. You know, a shit panel. The abst. You know, he's been absting himself, tripping over shit, getting all in the abs, getting all abs, and he's in the bristag. You know, he's in the bristag uh, because it, it's his life stuff. It's his life stuff, and he doesn't know where he's going, you know. But he gets hungry, so he has to yum from time to time. Anyway. Salima wanga kumbikin. So stupid. Nuggets. Nuggets. Oh, you want some chicken nuggets? Gotcha. No problem. Kipuna. Bonanakichu. Girl thinks a moment, stabs downwards. The floor. No, it doesn't mean the floor. That's what's so annoying. It's like, why would she? She doesn't mean literal. She has, one thing you've ever translated has it meant literally at all once. No. Kipuna. Bonanakichu. Mina kapsinagis. That could be anything. I don't get it. Tonki ba. Uh, nuggets. Is all one phrase? Kipuna. Bonanakichu. Uh, you're talking down? Kipuna. Covers your mouth. Tonki. Uh, okay, say something else. Tonki ba non. Say something else. Tonki. Say something else. Say something else. Say something else. She doesn't say anything else. Nuggets. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. The floor. Kipuna. See, it doesn't. It doesn't help me. Selima wanga kun. Right, you can stay here for now. Mucha. Bro, this sucks. Mucha shaka panga. Ugh. So you have to leave Kipuna. my ship. All right, you can stay for now. Sli Mucha shaka panga. Oh, I could, you said I could just kick her off. You gotta Kip go. Oh. Kipuna. Sli Mucha shaka panga. <laughs> you gotta Kip leave. No. Nope. Don't. Uh <laughs> oh, it's so rude. So much for that. Good thing I saved. I'm surprised I got stumped there. Normally you could speak to her. <clears throat> okay, um... Sasha... How'd you get on the ship? Um, how'd you get on the ship? Where are you from? I think I think it's a Kipuna. 
Kipuna. Oh, you're not speaking now. Nuggets means now. Na na guess is not now or before. See, I don't know why I didn't give you this option. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Oh, you want some food now? You're hungry. Tonki ba non tontek. Tabbed you. What does that mean? Selima wanga kunbi. I have to think about it. Tabbed you. Mucha shaka paka. Tonki ba. So tab means tell me about. Tonki ba non tontek. Tell me about you. All right. You want to know about me? Okay, communicate. There's someone who will take your home. Lur aka kastwan you life Don abuk shami no no. Kupaki daktuin. Yeah. Mucha shaka. Of course we are. Um, there's something. Okay. Why are you hiding on my ship? Selima wanga kunbi king. You came to the ship before. You were very scared. Why? You left the Mandalorians and hid here on the ship. You don't want to leave the Ebonhawk as your home. The Ebonhawk's not your home, not your first home. Anyway. Why are you scared of the Mandalorians? They took you before and hurt you? The Mandalorian ship wasn't home. You didn't like it. Shit. Tell me about your home before. Tabbed me, Sasha laughed and... Dantooine. I there's something else you could say. Um. Hold on. You sleep here on the ship? Yeah, why are you okay? Sleep. Okay, I'm gonna save again, and I'm gonna try and kick her off again. Um. Kipuna. Hey, you don't get anything. Whatever. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, I think we're good. I might as well just go finish this up and bring her. We've spoken to everybody, I think. So, I'll tell you what. Ding, bang, ding, ding, ding. Travel to Dantooine again. Oh, okay, the cutscene is going to minimize my game. I almost forgot about it. I'm getting attacked, bro. This is the first time getting attacked. Like mid transportation. I forgot this could happen from time to time. Incoming fighter. Sometimes, see, the thing is, in, in PC, you're restricted to how fast you can shoot. But I remember on, on like console, you could just go, and it would be like, ding, 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 ding. or was that in KOTOR 2? I don't know. Get out of here. Oh, wait, there's still one behind? That's as fast as you could scroll. Come on, you dirty bitch. He's too low. There you go, he did. You know he did. Whee. Just get me to Dantooine. <sighs> Throw out Dantooine. There. Yeah. See, Lord Vader, she can be reasonable. You may fire up when ready. You're far too trusting. Dantooine is too remote to me and make an adequate demonstration, but we will deal with your rebel friends soon enough. Bling, blang, blong, blong, blang. Greetings, Sense. I'll take a moment for your question. 
Oh my god, dude. You told me this 16 times. There's a story on my ship with the name of Sasha. What's that news? Are you certain? Come over to see if you like. I did not make it a habit of our vessels, but I'll make an exception. I got candy. She only speaks of smothering a Mandalorian, but I was able to figure it out. Chris, you said that your story isn't either one I seek, but you allow me to see her. Certainly. I have age, young sentient. I do believe you're indeed the one I seek. I'm here to return you to your father. I see that 10th anniversary is correct about your ling linguistic difficulties. I have a positive your parents can assist you with that. Bonanakichu. Bona child, I'll take you home. The ship is my home. Mabalki Lefsa. Alright, there's some light, light side, baby. Get off my ship, you dirty. You ate all the Kit Kats. And the Sour Patch Kids. Man, that shit was delicious. This is gross. Anyways. Alright, gangsters. I think that's about it. Oh, I did say I was gonna zip over. What how long are we yeah, we got a little bit of time. Tell you what, we'll just zip over to Yavin. Cause we're probably gonna make a couple of trips to Yavin, because I know Yavin stuff is really expensive. I think it's like for like a, a pair of gloves, it's like thirty thousand credits or something. <laughs> it's not just any pair of credits though. Or sorry, any pair of gloves. It's like gloves that'll make you a concert pianist or something, you know? The beauty of mods, because I remember I hadn't before playing this game on PC, I hadn't played this DLC since on my original Xbox. That's true, it's the best stuff in the game. The first transport is away. Yay! The first yes, what's transport. on your mind? Tell me why you want revenge on Saul. We're not done with this subject, bro. I already told you, he betrayed us all. It just seems to be more personal than that. Well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. I asked, didn't I? It's just that I don't talk about it. For I don't want to talk okay. about it. I told you about my <laughs> Let's homework. Let's go. Telos. <laughs> Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I've got the blinds pulled down, Bob. safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. It's the colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but the, the, they didn't come in time. That's terrible. I'm sorry I didn't know. Of course not. How could you? I... I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. I didn't mean to pry. No, it's all right. I don't mind. You deserve some kind of, uh, explanation. So what happened to your son? You didn't say. His name was Dustal, and I don't you know what to happened to him. You have to get this to trigger it. Colony on was a later. complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's uh, let's continue with what we were doing. Yeah, that's a vital yes, what's a conversation. I don't really know much about you. Get How can I help? said before about giving into your emotions. Yes, I did end that quite abruptly, didn't I? Perhaps a master could have addressed my questions with the proper wisdom, but I never should have brought it up here. Not with you. What's Part the matter of with my you? purpose on this mission was to guide you in the way of the light, to help you avoid the temptations of the dark side. But I fear I've failed in that task. I don't think I'm the proper Jedi to guide you. I am no master. You should have remained with the Council. Why do you say that? The fact of the matter is I have never possessed much skill at controlling myself. With the bond that joins us, it seems I have even less. You have maintained the path of the light side, but it has been in spite of my influence, not because of it. 
It's increasingly obvious I am unable to guide you properly. You're doing your best, I'm sure. It's kind of you to say, but I think the evidence speaks for itself. I think... I think I may have made a very big mistake. I simply hope that you are not the one who pays the price ultimately nah, we'll be fine for the fact that I can't help you enough. We'll get through it. Maybe we can help each other. That's a kinder response than I deserve. And I can see there is wisdom in your words. You... you continue to be there for me, don't you? Even after I keep pushing you away, you're still around when I need you most. You're like no man I've known before. And you're nothing like what I expected you to be after... after the Council sent us on this mission together. We're made for each other, Val, so you have to see that. Damn. I need time to think about all this. Uh, Things are... They're not going as I thought they would. We should continue on with our mission for now. See, she didn't say no. How can I help? Then, then I, I suggest, suggest we move, move on. on. <laughs> now watch. Tadis! It was Tadis! Well, may I be of assistance I know, blew it up, you bitch. Oh, oh, good. Thank goodness I had nothing else to say. Tadis! Lead me to my darkness. And then it's just like, Alexa, turn off lights. <laughs> oh, pl shit, please don't hear me. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? <sighs> You're... All right, let's see if... Oh, wait, mission... I don't know if mission will have anything else to add. Hey there. I'm worried about Griff and his latest plan. And now he's got himself mixed up with the... Can't turn your back. On your own brother. Why not? He turned his back on me. He abandoned me on Terrace, so maybe I should right just mission. leave him high and dry now. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe but that's I just the kind like, of jolt like, he needs to turn his life around. I think he ends up dying. Only, what if they do something worse? Which makes a ton they of might sense, kill you him. leave him too long. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just <sighs> can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. We'll just give a few tacks, a few prostate exams, locate the tack gland, remove the tack gland, and just hook him up, and he can make himself a nice IPA out of it. Sick by your family, bitch, even if they're slime com I don't always agree with that, but... Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not gonna change him. Griff is gonna keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tack glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Truth. All right, well, Mish. Mish, Mish, calling little Mish. Little... I'm going to save in case something's glitched out with this level. You never know. Uh, who do I want to bring with me? I'll bring the ladies. It's ladies night. Oh, what a night. Oh, the shit's all fucked up. Yeah, the... I forgot about this. Okay, well, let's try and fix it. Hundred and forty saves, not nearly enough. We're gonna end with like three hundred saves by the time we're done this game. Ah, oh, the damn it. Hang tight, guys. There's a way out of this mess. Just a minute. Okay, hurry up and save the sink, you bitch. It might just, uh... Usually that works. It could be the... There you go. When in doubt, just restart. No, it didn't crash. I closed it because the textures weren't loading. It was just looking like Shine City. Like whenever all, everything gets all glossy, there's no detail. Sometimes a quick save and load. Hey, hey who's that? What do you want? I recognize your ship Javix, isn't it? Who are you? Are you new or something? Yes, I'm new. Very new. You don't sound like a Trandoshan. You don't want to Javix. Who are you? What do you want? A Republic soldier. Probably the Republic hasn't been here in 50 years. We'll see where they start now. So I don't think it's the Republic. So long as you have good work done, I guess I can let you in. We nice to have someone to talk to for a change. Trendoshan and Smuggers aren't exactly stunning conversationalists. 
What are you talking about? They come by here every once in a while. It's how I keep in the loop, you know? Trandoshan and Lizard speak is kind of hard to follow, and they have pretty limited imaginations. Lungers aren't much better either. Look, this is getting kind of awkward through this door. Hold on a minute, I'll do this damn thing up with face. Talk face to face. Let's have a fiddle with stand door. Yeah, Molten, I'm basically done with Tatooine for the, for the time being. Hi. See, I always remember this bit. I remember looking, like, being able to look over Yavin. I thought it was pretty cool. I think that I think they did that, and they were gonna add like possibly future DLC, but mainly it's just a hub. You don't look like I thought you would. Too human. I don't see many of your kind here at all anymore. Not since the morning, right? What brings you here? I'm on a quest for the council. I'm trying to defeat Darth Malak. Malak, never heard of him. Or is he that new Sith Lord who's been giving public a hard time? I've been keeping up on recent news, or haven't been. He's Dark Lord of the Sith. A new Dark Lord, is he? It always seems a new one pops up, no matter how many you kill. Yep. Your business with them, him is not my business, of course. I don't want to pry, but why are you way out here running? I'm not running! I'm on a quest. What's up here, Jada? You should unlock it. I am. No, no, I never said I doubted you. It's just there are exactly a lot of Jedi wandering around here. What happened before? Yeah, what? Don't tell me youngsters don't know anything about extra code in the war. Then again, there have been a lot of um, troubles recently, I've heard. Enlighten me about Exar Kun. Kun was a Jedi to start at least. He came here to Yavin and landed on the fourth moon. The one you can see through the window. There were some ancient Sith temples there, and in them, Exar Kun gained terrible powers. He raised the Sith and waged a war against the Republic, much like what seems to be happening today. Exar Kun was far more powerful than any Sith Lord who had come since. The ground, very ground trembled beneath his feet, and when he looked at you, you just, just. But there's just all in the past now. I got my life staying here and taking with stuff I found in the ruins. Things that Trandoshan smugglers bring bringing me. For the change of, well, I don't need to know, but I do know. Trinocean's burst Larry's bounty hunters scum mostly. They look like two legged, -legged lizards. So like Rody Oh, don't say that. Why are they here? They found me here a couple of years ago after the war ended. Usually they they don't bargain with people they find alone in an abandoned space station, but we worked out a deal. I'd give them a few of my more applicable invent inventions at reasonable prices, and they just can't be supplied with food and new materials. It's worked out well so far. For years, really, when they haven't gone, they've been getting ideas, though. Anything else you want to know? Uh, few questions. Tell me about this system. Well, this gas giant here is Yavin. It's got a whole bunch of moons around it. The only really interesting one is Yavin 4, though, and it's been pretty much picked clean. What was on Yavin 4? Well, that, well, lots of things, but not yet. Exar Kun started the Great War Civil War 50 years ago. He used Yavin 4 as a base, building a lot of his temples there. When he lost, the Republic came and followed the surface of the planet and destroyed pretty much everything. Pretty much everything? Well, you could still find a few things here and there on the surface, some buried in the bombardment, some that look much older. I've been here there a bunch of times and found pretty much all there is to find. I took them back here and tinkered with them a bit, getting them up and working and improved them. How much you can look at, maybe purchase. Not right now. Uh, I will in a second. Tell me about yourself. Me, I'm nobody doing nothing. I've been in this system for over 50 years before the station was even built. I just sit around all day and tinker with this and that, trying to get a, trying out a few of my ideas. Why did you come here? Station Old Republic supply depot from when they were fighting Exar Kun. They didn't need it anymore. Once they'd gone, I decided to move and use the place myself. It's not very roomy, but I think it's turned on the right. And it's close to Yavin 4 where I get most of my parts. Nobody comes here except the smugglers and train oceans anyway. So I get left alone the way I like it. Who are the smugglers? Ordians, Aqualish, Twilix, whatever. They all work in an organization called The Exchange. You might have heard of them. They run smuggling operations all over the galaxy, weapons, slaves, whatever someone's willing to pay the price for. They found my talents very useful. Like Trend Oceans, they get to me to patch up and upgrade what they bring and pay me well for it. They also bring news and supplies. Uh, something else. Do you know anything about star maps or star forge? Never heard of them or it. There are plenty of artifacts in the Avenue and forges. Uh, try, I want to try another system. Did you, how did you know Davik? He used to come here every once in a while to trade. He worked for the exchange, big time smugglers. Trandoshans didn't really want to get on his bad side, so they let it go. But now he's gone, things are a bit more uncertain. Okay, uh. You have anything willing to sell me? Yeah, I have a few things kicking around this place. Some Trandoshan smugglers have brought me to look at. A few things I've been making from parts. They aren't cheap, though. They pay a lot for what I can make. And anything I can sell, I can sell them out now, can I? If you're willing to pay, I've got a few more of my advanced things you can look at. I'm always working on more, so you can check back another time. Here, have a look. Alright, so his stuff is money. 
10 K for that shadow armor is worth six grand. It's got some cool stuff. It's upgradable seven, four and four for stealth. It's light armor. So mission can wear that. If you use mission, it makes sense. Advanced stabilizer gloves. Look at that. It's 8,500 for that dexterity and blast bolt deflection go up. That's a really good one. Sensory implant. Actually, he's kind of lacking right now, isn't he? Uh, mind affecting poison. Wow, he is actually exceptionally lacking. This thing is awesome. This implant is an awareness of 10 and a dexterity of 2. Let's see our cell list. Let's see how much we can get for this shit now. Alright, so he's willing to pay a lot of money. Kalos, he's, he's going to pay 65. I'm not going to bother because I've you know, I want to see these bonds. The bonds were 60, I believe. Uh, what am I looking for here? The bonds and the the skulls, correct? 156 per bond. They were 60. They were worth 60 over on, on uh, Tatooine. So he's going to give me a ripping good price for this shit. Um, let's see. What else was I selling? The Raid Skull. These were 24 credits. There's 64 here. Holy shit. Much better. Alright, and you can have all these bonds. I don't know why you'd want them, but... Dude, I'm gonna have so much cash after this. Bro, we're still going. Twenty four thousand credits now. Money in the bank. I'm glad I saved up. Thank you for telling me that. So, like I said, I've only had, but I'm surprised this is the only options I have. Light armor six. Look at this. It's 6, 5, and 5, but it's got dexterity and a strength boost, and it's upgradable. It's 10k, though, but it's... I don't know, man. I'm This stuff changes, doesn't, doesn't it? I'm almost wondering if this is even worth doing. You know, the advanced stabilizer gloves? Oh, he's got the race bonds again. Look how much he's selling them for, that prick. Why would I need them? They're literally only worth money. That's all they're for. All right, let's see. Is there anything I really want to buy, though? I might have to... I remember he sold crystals and shit. I might have to make a couple of, uh... Um... The only thing I could see myself purchasing is this. I would have almost 30 grand, or no, I wouldn't. I'd have like 26,000 and no, I'd have to like 27,000 if I had uh, got Yuka Locker or whatever to, you know, basically a hundred credits for one of these now. They always do that. They always, so that you know that you would, if you had this item, he'd sell, you'd sell it to him for way less. That's the one thing. I mean, implant level three, that could be good for, but awareness of 10, it's good. Yeah, I don't know. I thought they'd, I thought he'd have more shit than this. Honestly, I thought he had, like, different lightsaber colors and stuff. Uh... You're an inventor. Do you have any gadgets? Is it the same? Yes. What, the slight exoskeleton? Does it restrict force powers, though? Probably. And that's really good. I would like to purchase both. That's 16 grand. I could do it. Give that to mission. Yeah, see, unfortunately, this stuff is... I mean, I like this. The dexterity boost is massive. The blaster bolt deflection is massive. I don't know. Maybe I'll try coming back. I've always got this one save. I'll go back to the ship now. 
Alright, well, I think that's probably about all I can do for today's stream. We're gonna head over to Kashyyyk for the next one. I might stop by here after each trip to a planet. I mean, having, a, like, three dexterity increase is massive. You know what I mean? I have a strength boost right now, but I think it's only of two. And having that dexterity, like, they're not, even, they're not gonna hit me at all. I'll just quickly do a one last speech, see if anybody can... Yeah, what are you... You're... Yeah, that's about it. I'll see if Juhani and I'm gonna cross my fingers she doesn't. Tell me I... They don't Tell even have a program. Be... Look, do you know any... What do you know? Nothing. Tell they don't even I... have a line for her. What the... Okay. I remember buying, like, a rare lightsaber crystal. Like, it, it just absolutely slapped cheeks. What I saved I up my money for that. There was armor I wanted, or a special kind of robe, I think. Need time to think. Oh, shit. You have been patient with me, haven't you? I suppose you deserve an answer. But you have to understand how difficult this is for me to say. Yes, I think so. With all my training, I should be able to control myself better than this. Do you guys think I should but buy those like gloves, then? Do you think they're worth getting? You're not like any man I've ever met before. I find myself watching you when I don't mean to. I'm thinking about you when I don't want to. It isn't supposed to be like this. What is it supposed to be like? I don't know. It shouldn't be so hard not to think of you. It should be easy not to think of you. I should have discipline. Jedi discipline. Every time I try to call on all my teachings to calm myself, they fail me. You have such power, such passion. I don't know if it's due to the bond between us, but I'm drawn to you. That starship won't fly. Are you interested in me or my ability to use the Force? The Force is a part of you, as is your power. But that's not what attracted me to you. It's more than that. Maybe it's the bond we share. It gives us a certain intimacy. If I could, I would return to Dantooine. I need to be away from this bond of ours. I need to weaken it. I need to be anywhere but near you. But Malak must be stopped. My own feelings are nothing when compared to that. Yet I know this could affect the sake of our mission if it's not resolved. I can't let that happen. Give into your feelings. I know you want to. I think, I think we should have some privacy for this. Come with me. Snap. You're stronger than I am, and there's no point in telling me otherwise. You will be a great Jedi, I think. I hope. In some ways, you make me feel weak, like I'm caught up in the wake of our destiny. That's a good point, Luke. At the same Luke. time, you make me feel stronger, more alive. So what does that mean for us? Oh, wait, no, and I feel more alive when I'm with you. I realize now these feelings are part of the bond we share. The Jedi Council surely realized this. They knew my loyalty to the doctrines of our order would be tested on this mission. By facing and overcoming my feelings for you, I've learned a valuable lesson about control and the dangers of emotion. This is an important step in understanding the Force. I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear, but I felt that it was important you know our... Infatuation was nothing more than a result of our powerful bond. Can't you just say shut up and kiss me or something like that? You're rational. You're just too scared to face the truth. You're the one who can't face the truth. Malak has to be stopped. How can I do that if I let myself be blinded by my feelings for you? I'm going to stop Malak Basilov. I want to do it with you at my side. You, you mean it, don't you? Yes, but I how do. How can I be sure you're not making a mistake? I... I have to resist. I have to be strong for both of us. <laughs> you don't always have to be strong. Give in. Do it. But I don't... I mean, I can't. Malak will... Nothing. Shut up and kiss me, you babbling fool. Oh, my. <laughs> I love that. <gasps> we shouldn't have done that. It was Why? wrong. The Jedi are not allowed to fall in love. didn't feel wrong to me it was it was a moment of weakness when i kissed you we shouldn't have i'm sorry no i know we both wanted it but we shouldn't have given in to our desire we're jedi we can't act like this not now not when we still have to deal with malik i'm i'm sorry I, I don't blame you but it was a mistake i have to get out of here before somebody sees us together <laughs> she literally sprints out of the room this is my new favorite room in the house. Man, how do you how would you kiss with that thing on, bro? I don't know. 
The thing is, I don't think it, I don't think being, you know, in a relationship or being like able to love should be completely not allowed in the Jedi Order. I, I think you just need to be able to let go of attachments if the time comes. I think, I, but then again, everyone has their, that, that would be a tough weakness, you know what I mean? I mean, Anakin was, Anakin, you could see that coming from 30 years away, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like the homeboy is like way too much of a loose cannon. Do you think you'll have different kits? No, it's the same stuff. Okay. Um, I will take the stabilizer gloves because honestly, that's money in the bank. I, ha I mean, I have 24 grand. We're down. We still have 16,000 creds. I mean, I would li if I had like an infinite amount of shit, I would just buy everything. And I would probably give this to, I don't know how I'd give that to, but it's dope. Someone, you know. This I'd give to Mission for sure, because it's got a huge defense and dexterity, and it's upgradable, and it's got stealth. You know what I mean? There we go. Let's put these gloves on, guys. Let's get these gloves. I mean, I like the strength amplifier. It ups your strength by two. We're already strong. We're already a strong-ass motherfucker. I would like a dexterity and blaster bolt deflection. See how it goes from 726 with this on to 625 and 1024, 1120. It's not that much different, though. Trust me, that shit will be money. I had a feeling about it. Okay, so I'm happy with that purchase. We'll we'll just save up more money, sell sell more shit to him. All right, I think we're good to go. So the next stream, you guys, we are going to um, sorry, we are going to um, what do you call it? We are going to deal with Kashik. I think we're gonna go to Kashik next. You do, but it, would, it wouldn't be for me. It would be for, um, whoa, hold on. Who would it be for? Uh, it would be for, I can't even think of him. Zalbar, sorry, I couldn't think of it. But yeah, tomorrow, we're gonna be back and we're gonna be slapping cheeks here and we're gonna be going to Kashyyyk. I, I actually like Kashyyyk as a planet, it's a lot of fun. Maybe after we're done Kashyyyk, depending how much time we have, we'll end up going back here to see if there's any more kit, I don't know. I think each level, you, he'll get something. When you buy something, he replaces it with something new. I think that's how that works. Uh, if you don't buy anything, he'll never replace it. So I, since I bought these new gloves, that's really going to be handy for us. So if I, if I actually go look, uh, where's my dexterity? It's at a 17 now, plus 3. So it's it's been boosted. My defense is in, in, in the green. Uh, my will saves are actually really low. Um, strength is still at a 16, which could go higher. It was at an 18 before, but it dropped a little bit. We'll probably increase that. Because we were upping our dexterity, but now that we have these gloves, I probably won't end up switching them. I'll probably just boost my strength a little bit more. Um, maybe my constitution a little bit, get a modifier. Maybe my wisdom. I don't know, man. I would love to just increase everything, personally. So, anyway. We're going to let's put this in here anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this stream. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on it. Comment your thoughts below. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure post notifications are turned on with the bell icon so you don't miss anything I put out. Be sure to like and follow my social pages as well. Got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Discord. They're all linked in the description. If you want to get a shirt or hoodie of mine, there's a link in the description for that. Also, an embedded feature below the stream. You can scroll down and see some goodies I have there. Big shout out to all the sponsors, of course. DX Racer, Bones Coffee, Always Bearded, The Ridge Wallet, Mad Rabbit Tattoo, and Jinx Custom Controllers. I use their products every single day. You can check them out for yourselves with a link in the description make sure you use my promo code jank8000 at checkout finally guys make sure you don't forget to uh check out and sign up for the team 8000 membership program it does support the page a lot four tiers available for you entry basic uh premium and ultimate 
Uh, obviously, the higher up in the tier list you go, the more perks you're going to get for signing up. But that entry level, honestly, it's only 99 cents. Super easy to get in on the ground floor on in, into the program for that. Uh, but you will get things like custom badges by your name, custom emojis used in chat, exclusive video and stream access, prior new open lobbies, giveaways, discounts, and plenty more, especially for that ultimate tier. Starting August, we're doing the new perks for ultimate, where there's going to be a double giveaway. First place is going to have the choice of what they want, but it's going to be a game giveaway, so a game of your choice like usual. And then the second prize is going to be a merch giveaway. And obviously, if the the first place winner wants to give up that for a merch the merch item the second place winner will get the game to game of their choice so it's it's a really great it, the value is getting up there you know there's more stuff coming to it i'm trying to bring more stuff to it obviously we need more members to do that though working towards 175 for our next milestone hovering at the 150 mark so let's keep those memberships coming doesn't matter what tier you join at it does count towards the milestone of 175 and eventually we'll get to 200 so let's keep those memberships coming in you can sign up for that with the link in the description there's also a join button below the video and on my main channel page as well guys thank you so much for coming hopefully i will see you tomorrow when we take on kashik i'm very excited and i'm having a blast continuing playing kotor once again for the channel so hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow for some kashik action check out the wookies and see what they're doing all right thanks again guys we will see you next time all right take care peace